you, sir. Please unmute, 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 sir. Mr. Ramaswamy, unmute your... Uh... Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Very, very, very good morning, one and all. I request all the participants to kindly mute um, your uh, systems. Uh, this is the sixth in the series of meeting as a part of uh, Ringan Utsav. It is being organized in collaboration with the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, by all the state councils. The theme for this meeting is science communication and popularization. It's a very important topic. Whatever we do as a research and development and all our efforts, it should reach the masses. That is the ultimate goal of any research uh, researcher and uh, nation. And uh, to that uh, end, uh, it becomes very important uh, uh, to take the fruits of science and technology to the all the end users and stakeholders. And uh, we, as a state, has got an excellent infrastructure and expertise and facilities for science communication and popularization. Uh, special institutions are uh, there and uh, all over the state and uh, the council is also doing excellent work. And uh, we will be hearing from various experts uh, in this regard. So I now request uh, our uh, member secretary, Dr. R. Srinivasan, to offer his welcome address and uh, give the opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Respected today's expert members, officials from DST, colleagues, dear participants, scientists and faculties, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As a part of celebration of 75th year of independence, our Honorable Prime Minister initiated this program being conducted by various ministries of Government of India. As per the above initiative, Department of Science and Technology, Government India, Government of India has been catalyzing and organizing the program called Vigyan Mutsav in association with all the state councils of science and technology spread throughout the country. As you are aware, Vigyan Mutsav is being organized in several teams from September 2021 to coming August this year. This is a sixth one in the series of programs being organized by the Council as a part of Ajadika Amrit Mahotsav, that is Vigyan Uchav, under the aegis of Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, on the theme, Science Communication and Popularization. On behalf of Tamil Nadu State Council for Science and Technology, I am happy to welcome the dignitaries, officials, especially scientists from DST, other scientists, researchers, and the participants for this program from various educational and research institutions from our state and from other state. Especially, I thank uh, Dr. Devapriya Dev Dutta, advisor, Dr. Resmi Sarma, scientist chef, Dr. Ravigand Prajwadi uh, for their uh, constant encouragement and helping us to conduct this program. I welcome the chief guest for this program, Srimadi R. Kanchana, IFS Deputy Director, Office of Arinir Anna Geological Park, Wanderlur. Everybody knows that uh, this, is, this park is very uh, important as far as this uh, forestry and other uh, concern. Who will be making a presentation on science communication and popularization activities of Arinir Anna Geological Park, Wanderlur. I welcome you, madam. I welcome Dr. S. Soundaraja Perumal, Executive Director, Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center, Chennai, who will be making a presentation on the facilities and activities of Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center for science popularization. This center is popularizing science through their interactive, innovative method of technology. Uh, as far as Dr. Soundaraja Perumal is concerned, he is a good scientist. 
and uh, he has completed his phd i think our uh, ramasamy will uh, dr ramasamy will uh, introduce him properly and he is uh, vibrant uh, active and uh, in astronomy and astrophysics he is very strong and he is also bring out various uh, themes and various innovative method for popularization of science and technology to the student community as well as public i welcome you sir i welcome dr s danalakshmi curator geology section government museum edmore and this is also another uh, very interesting uh, uh, center uh, museum uh, to cater the needs of uh, our tamil nadu people who will be making a presentation on the facilities and the exhibits available at the government museum and the popularization of science among school children and the public welcome you madam i welcome the dr r sivaraman associate professor department of mathematics dg vaishnav college arumbakkam chennai who will be making a presentation of popularization of science particularly in mathematics he is having a, some uh, five uh, five sort of things and he is a great aspirant for uh, the, the great mathematician uh, ramanujan srinivas ramanujan and he has done a lot of uh, work on uh, the particular theme and he is also popularizing uh, uh, various activities on uh, mathematics throughout tamil nadu and he also received uh, he got received a uh, science communication award from dst uh, and uh, i think uh, he, he is a vibrant uh, educator as far as mathematics is concerned i think he will also uh, be presenting his innovative techniques and uh, available methods for our community welcome you sir i also welcome dr c sanmugam former guest faculty department of chemistry college of engineering gindi campus anna university uh, who will be making a presentation on science communication and popularization through interactive experiment that is very important and he is also a, a expert in ham radio and uh, various other activities he is also popularizing astro astronomy and uh, astrophysics activities to the uh, rural community and uh, as far as uh, dr c sanmugam is concerned uh, he is a great uh, 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 academician and uh, he worked in uh, a bank i think in uh, indian overseas bank after some time uh, some 10 years back he resigned and uh, he has taken up this job as uh, uh, his uh, uh, very important aspects Uh, he is uh, popularizing throughout Tamil Nadu in various activities. I also thank Dr. Uh, C. Sanmugam. Whenever we are uh, calling him for taking up this type of uh, activities uh, during whether uh, National uh, Science Day or Mathematics Day or whatever uh, uh, for teacher training program, also he is kind enough, always accepting our invitation and he is helping us. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, once again, I welcome you, sir. I welcome Dr. K. Muthu Kumar, Program Officer, ENVAS Hub, Department of Environment, Panangal Building, Saida Pet, who will be making a presentation on the activities of Department of Environment, Government of Tamil, the Government of Tamil Nadu for science communication and the popularization of science. Uh, welcome, you sir. The Council, being an autonomous body functioning under the Department of Higher Education of the Government of Tamil Nadu. <laughs> I request the audience. Doctor Muthu Kumar, please kindly mute yourself, sir. All the participants, please mute yourself. Thank you. Yes, sir. Member sir, please sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The council, being an autonomous body functioning under the Department of Higher Education of Government of Tamil Nadu, is playing an important role to lead, catalyst, direct, and conduct research programs 
in all areas of science and technology utilizing the excellent infrastructure and the manpower facilities available with our state academic and research institutions leading to many innovation the council is catalyzing and conducting science communication and popularization among school children and the public through various programs conducted in universities colleges research institutions and ngos with the financial assistance of national council of science and technology communication government of india tamil nadu state council for science and technology is celebrating the national mathematics day to mark the birth anniversary of great indian mathematical genius srinivas ramanujan the day on 22nd december every year and science day 28th february to commemorate the valuable contribution made by scientist bharat ratna sri c v raman in various districts of our state quiz programs workshops exhibitions and awareness rallies are organized through state government schemes such as young scientist program teacher training program dissemination of innovation technology popularization of science and technology we are effectively communicating with various sections of the society such as students teachers farmers self help group members and the public through uh, young student scientist program school students from 9th standard are motivated to take up science and research in future as their career 40 students from each district participate in this program selected students from various districts are housed in a reputed college university with research facilities and the exposure is given on various aspects of science and technology every year a total of 16 districts are selected to train 640 school students through popularization of science and technology the farmers public and the school students of our state are covered to expose to science and technology financial support is provided to universities colleges and voluntary organization to propagate science through conduct of science exhibition training programs popular lectures on various aspects of science and technology every year council is supporting about 25 organizations at a cost of 6.5 lakh uh, benefiting nearly 5000 people through in service training program the school teachers who are handled the science subjects of 6th to 8th standard are trained upgrade teaching skills in line with the present syllabus and this program is conducted for a period of 5 years with equal importance to practical every year 10 programs are organized in 10 districts uh, nearly some 500 teachers are benefiting this is also very interesting every year uh, whatever program we are conducting at a time we are uh, covering nearly some uh, 10 districts to 15 districts every year through dissemination of innovation technology academicians and scientists conduct training programs and workshops to disseminate technologies that are useful in improving employment potential livelihood every year 18 programs are conducted with a cost of 9 lakhs benefiting 480 people at uh, last week and this week also every district this program is going on and most of the farmers and other uh, uh, youth youths are involved to take up this type of activities it will definitely helpful to the uh, rural people especially uh, in total the council is implementing 15 snd programs aimed at research and development development of scientific manpower and taking the benefits of science and technology to various sections of the society including scientists researchers industry farmers self help group members women and other in this meeting we will be hearing about science communication and the popularization of science from various experts from institutions such as arinjarana geological park tamil nadu science and technology center government museum department of environment government of tamil nadu along with science communicators such as dr r sibaraman and dr c sanmugam in various subjects including mathematics and science speakers will be highlighting on various activities conducted in the field of popularization of science and about communication of science with various sections of the society i am sure that all the participants will be thrilled to hear from the experts about how our state is endowed with rich facilities expertise and experience in popularization of science the need of the hour is to communicate effectively with all stakeholders of our community about the advances in science and technology as well as the rich and colorful traditional wisdom 
and knowledge available in our state. Any society striving for modern way of life and development should not only focus on the latest in science and technology, but also remember and follow to reach knowledge and the wisdom of our forefathers who have contributed immensely in various fields. I wish all the participants fruitful and enriching session. I welcome one and all. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your elaborate and uh, uh, very crisp, uh, uh, nice presentation on the activities of the Council as well as uh, uh, the need for this program, setting the stage for this program. Thank you very much. Uh, now it is my pleasure and duty to invite uh, uh, Dr. R. Kanchana, uh, Indian Forestry Service, Deputy Director, Office of the Aringa Ranna Zoological Park, Wonderloo. Uh, Madam uh, is a veterinarian basically and uh, she has worked in uh, the field of uh, conservation and uh, uh, the development, uh, uh, previously working in uh, as a Deputy Director in Kalakkad Mundandurai Tiger Reserve and as a District Forest Officer in Namakkal uh, with a very vast and uh, 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 varied experience. It is our pleasure to hear from uh, uh, Dr. Kanchana about uh, this important topic of science communication. Uh, thank you very much, Madam, for being here and uh, for having accepted our invitation. Uh, I welcome you to present, to make a presentation. Thank you, Madam. Thank you so much, uh, Professor uh, Ramaswamy, sir. And also I thank uh, First Secretary of uh, State Council for Science and Technology, Srinivasan sir, for giving me this opportunity. It gives me privilege to be part of this uh, scientific forum. I, I am very glad to see all the members, expert members from various sectors of the department to be among one of you. I would like to present about the activities of Harangarana Geological Park, what all the activities we are taking up, uh, how we function actually. So let me share the screen. Hope I am audible. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yeah, actually, Aranjarana Geological Park, actually this park is very old park, Expo. It's uh, one of the important tourist destination for the, uh, all the people. Almost we are receiving visitors from uh, nook and corner of the country. And this is one of the important geological park. We display animals of natural naturalistic enclosures. We have actually four uh, pillars of uh, objectives, such as one is uh, conservation, another one is education, and the research and recreation part. This park is one of the modern and scientifically managed zoo. And it is the pioneering park in all its best practices, and it is one of the iconic model for other zoos in the country. So, uh, going back to the history of this uh, geological park, initially it was uh, function, functioning as Madras Zoo, that was the oldest zoo in India, established in 1855. Dr. Edward Green Balfour was the pioneer, he established the Madras Zoo. Later, due to the space constraints, this zoo was shifted to Wanderloo uh, in the year 1985 by the then Chief Minister uh, Dr. M. G. Ramachandran. This park spreads to, spreads to an extent of 602 hectare and it also includes not only the geological park but also the rescue and rehabilitation center. Rescue is basically wherever some rescued animal from it may be from circus or it may be injured animal from wild. So those animals will be rescued and kept in the rehabilitation center. Those animals will be will not be displayed in zoo area. So that center is separate adjoining to the zoo. So uh, it spreads to an extent of 92 hectare. 
then uh, this particular geological park is one of the coordinating zoo. Coordinating zoo means we used to take up the conservation building programs. For example, lion tail, macaque, nilgiri langur, and gilgiri tar. We are actually having the conservation building program of these species so that it will be example for other zoos. Apart from that, this zoo is also a participating zoo. Participating zoo means this kind of programs like Indian Gar breeding program, Indian Jane Spring, Wild Lock breeding program and all will be taken up by various other zoos. So according to our, along with other zoos, we are also one of the zoo participating zoo for these species. Then again, it is a center for excellence recognized by Central Zoo Authority. Central Zoo Authority is a central authority which is having control over all the zoo geological parks in India. Uh, being a government of India institutions. Then we are also a part of World Association of Zoos and Aquarium, VASA member. Uh, getting VASA membership is a pride thing. So we got this membership in 2019. So coming to the vision and mission of the zoological park, this vision means we have to get environmentally sensitive people who care for the wild fauna and flora and they will in turn act as a they will they will support for the conservation for the long term welfare of mankind so that is the vision mission is conservation of fauna of eastern and western gods with special reference to as i already told in the lion tail macaque nilgiri langur gaur and other small mammals these are the animals which are endemic to tamil nadu so to provide all the animals housed in the zoo with highest standards of housing and upkeep and health care. So that is one of our mission and to provide the visitors opportunities for getting them an uninterrupted view of wild animals so that they develop an empathy towards them. Then to carry out research on different aspects of biology, behavioral genetics of endangered wild animal so that and facilitating their breeding. Then next, the next mission is that to provide requested housing, upkeep and health care to the distressed animal rescued from various sources. So these are our vision and mission of geological park. Next. You see the, uh, the layout of uh, geological park. It is on the GST road uh, in Wandalore area. This side uh, Kalambakam Road, we have the uh, plethora of uh, things, animals exhibited in various enclosures. So uh, we have that route map also, so that uh, this will helps the help the visitors who are coming to the zoo. First of all, by seeing the layout, they will come to know that they can prioritize which area to see first and how to go to important animals. The, they are the animals which they like. Like that, they can prioritize their. Uh, time of visit and uh, and it is also helping uh, to helping them to get more ideas about the zoo so here we have first uh, initially a lot of attractions in the wonderland zoo we have the iconic cave like entrance that was again the de the design was uh, conceived by the then chief minister uh, the entrance of zoo must be like a, it should be like a cave and it should attract the visitors by seeing the structure itself. So that is what it was kept in the entrance with the waterfall. So that uh, this design has been uh, this uh, this has been liked by many visitors. And then we have two three eight two two thousand three hundred and eighty two animals, comprising of one eighty two species. Uh, that is a more speciality. It is a large zoo, a large zoo category. Uh, then we have. I already mentioned 602 hectare, 100 plus uh, large and uh, simulated naturalistic animal enclosure. All our animal enclosures resembles like wild. The animals should not feel like they are being uh, housed in a very small uh, enclosure. We have given natural ambience for most of the animal species. And we have lion and deer safari. Then live streaming of zoo animals. This live streaming concept we introduced in 2019 that involves uh, 24 into 7, whatever, whatever the animal is, uh, the present condition, the live streaming is being focused in our website. 
it, 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 this kind of uh, this uh, this particular item has been liked by many visitors then we have butterfly park walk through aviary then uh, the birds uh, birds uh, birds enclosures specifically uh, assemblage of uh, the birds which are seen in point calimer and vanandangal bird sanctuary and we have a natural lake of uh, 17 acre area a hotel lake and then reptile house and children's park area all those things are very special attractions to the world before going to what are all the scientific uh, deliberations we do we, let me introduce these uh, facilities what we have so that uh, it will be a uh, useful for the people this is the administration setup we have uh, the office set up uh, controlled by director and uh, the ministerial staff and then we have separate veterinary care unit then we have maintenance staff animal care staff all those uh, people work together uh, for the betterment of animal as well as for the betterment of people who are visiting the zoo so that they can get the very safe and the very pleasurable zoo experience when they visit the zoo so uh, uh, here we have actually we have our own in-house uh, fodder plot because we need to provide uh, uh, the every day uh, 3200 kgs of uh, food items for the animal that includes vegetarian food items as well as non-vegetarian food items uh, for the animals housed in the zoo so for that for the herbivorous population for deer and for indian gar population we have our own fodder plot in this fodder plot, we used to harvest this uh, cocoa, uh, grass, uh, para grass, and guinea grass for the herbivorous animals. And we have juice pool, the rescue center, lion and deer safari, all those things which I have already explained. So, this geological park actually uh, coming under the Tamil Nadu Forest Department, Tamil Nadu State Government, and it has a control, it, it, it has been managed by Zoo Authority of Tamil Nadu. Uh, for which the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu is a chairperson. So uh, every every year, every time, uh, whatever the uh, deliberations to be made and to be approved, it has to be approved by the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. Uh, and of course, other members of the Chief Secretary and then other officials from the Forest Department and then Secretary level officials are there, part of the Zoo Authority of Tamil Nadu. So this, uh, this has been uh, registered under the Societies Act uh, of 1975. So whatever revenue, whatever uh, expenditure to be made, it will be made by taking due approval from the JAT Authority of Tamil Nadu. So visitor amenities, as far as visitor amenities is concerned, we have online ticket booking facility, offline ticket booking facility. Then we have mobile, Wonderland Zoo mobile app for uh, doing uh, any kind of uh, booking and then uh, we have digital payment facility, clock room, juice owner, everything we have. We have battery operated vehicle. We have huge demand for this uh, battery operated vehicle. Then SOC model, the aquarium also we have. So that all these things, uh, it is actually uh, part of visitor amenities have been created and it is actually serving the purpose. Next. We have when whenever they come inside the zoo because it's a huge area, thousand five hundred acres. So we have the bicycle and e cycle facility. Then RO water, rest sets, medical care unit. Everything we have in in terms of uh, visitor amenities is concerned. Every year, actually, this is a visitor footfall. Uh, during uh, COVID time, uh, uh, we have actually uh, we got less visitors. But he actually, uh, in normal times, annually, we used to get on an average 20 lakh visitors, comprising uh, students, uh, children, and then uh, adults, everything, everybody. So annually, we used to get 20 lakh uh, visitors. So this is uh, the picture showing the various enclosures, the exhibits. Uh, that is uh, actually resembling, immersing with the natural ecosystem so that animals will get the natural wild ambience. So uh, for different animals, we have different type of enclosures. 
So this, uh, these are the, some of the pictures uh, of uh, white tiger enclosure and then uh, the giraffe and then the safari area. In safari animals and all safari area, we used to take the visitors in a closed uh, vehicles so that uh, they can see the free roaming animals in a better way. Then the walk through aviary and shark, shark modeled aquarium. Everything uh, is a part of uh, the scientific uh, management of the zoo. So here, uh, whoever uh, comes, they get a lot of entertainment and education, uh, recreation, and uh, they can uh, learn also. Seeing is uh, learning. So they can learn many things. Next. So coming to the communication aspect. So uh, we are actually, the, every year 20 lakh visitors are coming. We are actually imparting various aspects of natural education, nature education, wildlife education, extension education. So uh, because science is a major thing they should understand. In a, in, in a book, if they talk about that, they learn about tiger, they will not uh, able to visualize unless they see the animals uh, with their own eyes. So that is what we have the various facilities of communication. We are interacting with them. We have live stream, live streaming facility. Then uh, we have uh, the informational styles. Actually, we have the live, live interaction means we are interacting with the students uh, orally, but also and also virtual mode. Then information we have the various display boards, signage boards, posters, flyers, audiovisual aids. All those things, all those by this way, we are uh, giving a lot of information for the visitors. Then some of the uh, signage boards we are we have displayed in the zoo, which are uh, interpretative in nature, interpretative style. So by seeing these boards, they can uh, learn many things. For example, who runs past? By this, this picture is very interesting and uh, they can exercise, they can do some small exercise if they are coming with family, they can uh, uh, give this learning for their kids in a better way. So by this way, we are, we have displayed all this interpretative style uh, uh, signage boards. Then on-site interpretation signages are also there. So here we have our own uh, this uh, uh, tree museum, uh, the zoo museum, as well as interpretation center, everything they can, if they visit uh, our zoo, these are the, this interpretation center will give a uh, lot of uh, learning for them. For each and every animal enclosure, we have given the signage board, they can learn and see that they can, uh, they can get some information about that animal, not only seeing, but also uh, reading and learning. So this signage just definitely connect the visitors that provide and provide intimate experience and uh, communicate more about wildlife and uh, that will create also awareness and uh, it will arouse the uh, curiosity and sensibility of the visitor through dialogue and hands-on activities and contact with living animals and other practical events. So by this way, we are disseminating the scientific, uh, scientific information about Wildlife. So these are some of the few signage boards, very interactive boards and uh, attractive boards so that uh, uh, by seeing this signage board, uh, whoever uh, the student or visitor will get to know a lot of information about uh, the animal and what is its lifespan, how, we, uh, what is this, uh, this gestation period and uh, all those things. And what is its uh, category, whether it is an uh, endangered category in, uh, or extinct animal or this is uh, some uh, vulnerable animal. All this IUCN status also we have mentioned in the signage board. And we made it as a point that it should be any signage, it should be a bilingual. So that uh, the, um, the people who are not well versed in English, they can go through the local uh, regional language. It will be a better uh, helpful for them. So signages itself, uh, various kinds of uh, directional signages also we used to display. Next. 
So this is a, a landmark of uh, Arangarana Geological Park. Here, uh, the science subjects and all, uh, various actually when you come to uh, the zoo, you can see the lot of trees, lot of animals. Here, this is the architectural science. The entrance of the zoo or a geological park is uh, so iconic uh, structure. The rock and cave-like structure and as well as the entrance. It shows the typical iconic model architectural design. This is also a, a message to the public, scientific message to the public. It can be designed or something like that. Then another important uh, scientific deliberation what we are taking out in the in our geological park is the zoo school. It was established in 1988. Uh, it's mainly to provide conservation education to the public, conservation education to the students community. They can come here and they can take a lot of information from our, we have our own biologists, we used to be, we have our zoo educator. So they, they themselves uh, constantly involving in uh, spreading the conservation uh, education among the uh, community. So we are taking a lot of activities. Actually, we are conducting many programs for the student community. It may be a bird watcher, a bird watching event, or the some zoo ambassador programs or the special ambassador programs we are conducting. So uh, whoever comes to the zoo, we transform many information to them, transmit many information for them so that it will be a great experience for the student community. So this point, this actually, we, I want to take a few minutes on this slide. So whoever is visiting geological park, they are dealing, they will come to know the, the plethora of uh, scientific subjects we are dealing here. So for example, when they visit, we used to tell about the animal, animal behavior, how it is uh, performing, what is its nature, character, everything we are uh, telling the geological science. Then comes to the flora of the geological park. We are these are the plantations we have. Uh, the particular plant species is being liked by a particular animal. All those things we used to tell them when they come for bird watching. We used to show them birds along with the plants they prefer. Plants, uh, trees, they used to perch on it. So this bot botanical science also they are getting the animal behavior, ecology, ethology. Mammalology, ornithology, then reptiles, then architectural engineering, then civil engineering, mechanical. We have all our enclosures specially designed for carnivorous, carnivorous animals, specially designed for herbivorous animals. Like that. Then uh, we have our own veterinary science, uh, zoo, veterinary hospital is there. So we used to uh, tell the student community and visitors about all these uh, scientific subjects. They, they, when they visit zoo, they used to get a fair idea of all these subjects by seeing it may be a signage board, by seeing the uh, veterinary hospital, or it may, they may see the animal enclosure, they can observe the animal behavior and so on. So uh, this one, uh, this uh, actually uh, one important uh, aspect, they, the, the, they learn many things. That is how we popularize the science subjects among the student community. Then we, out, we used to take uh, various uh, zoo outreach activity. Not only the visitors who are coming here are being given to, uh, natural education. We also take up various outdoor programs. We ourselves go to different colleges and, uh, and the schools and we used to conduct uh, the various uh, uh, conservation awareness programs. We are conducting zoo ambassador program and species ambassador program. These two programs is very unique to Arjarana Geological Park, I can say. No other zoos in the country have this kind of uh, program. These programs are nothing but inviting the students for two to three days. Uh, I mean, uh, daily they can come and go. So uh, two days for th three days, they will attend these sessions conducted by our uh, zoo school team. They will get to know the important uh, uh, information about all the species in the zoo ambassador program. Then in species ambassador program, particular species, for example, in the Lagoon will be targeted. In and out, each and every information related to the Lagoon will be 
uh, taught for the student community so that they will get to know all the information. In turn, they will go to their places, respective meeting places, and they will they themselves uh, they in turn connect with various awareness programs among their peer groups so that they will be acting as a carrier of uh, this uh, awareness program. They will in turn uh, connect so many awareness programs for the other people. They will they in that way they will transmit the whatever they learn from here. So this species numbers program is one of the successful program we are conducting. People or students also like it. Then apart from that, we we ourselves uh, hold, uh, go to schools and we conduct Zoom orientation program. Then we used to conduct uh, certificate courses for school dropout candidates. Then uh, special thematic uh, workshops we used to conduct like wildlife photography, photography, bird identification, painting for various events, sorry, some important events like wildlife week celebration will be there every year during October year, wildlife week celebration will be taken up by the forest department in Grand Manor. So all these uh, special events will certainly be a uh, learning program for the students. We have zoo club and uh, and the importance, suppose, for example, last time uh, wetland day was there, February 2nd, World Wetland Day. Like that, any important events, important days, we used to connect specific program for that. So, uh, this is how we used to uh, get the response from the students. This is a photographs of Wildlife Week celebrations. So uh, that time uh, due to COVID time, uh, we faced a lot of problem. Even then we could uh, conduct virtual programs so that they have drawn at their doorsteps and then they have sent, it, uh, sent them to our mail ID. We have screened them and we selected a few best photographs and given awards and all. So this, this is how we can motivate the student community uh, for uh, getting some scientific inputs. Uh, that is what I said, uh, zoo orientation session. Not only uh, uh, we used to go to, actually we used to go to the schools and colleges. We used to conduct orientation session for the student community so that they will get to know many things about the natural conservation. So these are some of the glimpses of the zoo outreach program. Thanks. Uh, again, zoo outreach program. Thanks. This is a zoo ambassador program. As I already told you, students will be invited to the zoo for some two to three days program. In the two to three days program, we will be teaching many things about the zoo management, about the animals housed inside the zoo and what is their behavior, what is their approach, how they should be maintained, what is their feeding pattern, what is their breeding behavior. Everything will be told them so that it will be a good program for the students. They Many people are interested in that. So these are a few photographs we said uh, after doing this uh, Zoom ambassador program. Yes, yes. So this is a species ambassador program. Last time we conducted for slender lorries and also for a nail tree lungu. So species means particular species will be targeted and uh, each and every information of that particular species will be told to the student community. So whoever uh, participating in this program, they will be given the batch of uh, species ambassador. They'll, the, in turn, they will have to go to conduct and conduct uh, various awareness sessions among their peer groups so that uh, uh, they will uh, get more, uh, they will disseminate the information in a better way. Again, we used to conduct a training program for probationary officers, government officers, then our, our own departmental staff, then uh, section officers from secretariat, our own zookeepers and for zoo staff. We used to conduct a frequent, very frequent uh, training sessions in order to keep uh, the knowledge updated. So, uh, this is some few photographs uh, of uh, uh, training sessions conducted in the past. We have conducted for uh, civil judges, veterinary internship trainees, then forest department trainees, wildlife institute of India trainees, even IFS officers uh, training program has been conducted here. So like that. Next. 
Apart from that, uh, we used to conduct special day, event day, events, event based. Suppose particular day is uh, World Rhino Day means we used to conduct World Rhino Day, some awareness program for World Rhino Day, some awareness program on some lion tail macaque, uh, like that. So this kind of day specific events uh, will uh, give a lot of information for the uh, student. So, these are the some few photographs of uh, the event day, events, events based activities, day based activities. For example, Wetland Day, or International Tiger Day, then this um, LDM Day, like that, World Environment Day. So, by this, uh, almost uh, you know, uh, once in a week, some on the other day will be special day will be coming, we will be taking up some activity, and then it will be keep on be displayed in our website and in our YouTube channel. The students committee will give, whoever uh, will get the chance to see that uh, thing, they will definitely get benefited out of that. So, uh, so, so here uh, we used to, we are conducting on the awareness on forensic also, wildlife forensic. You know, nowadays uh, the wildlife trade is uh, going very, what is that, it is uh, second after uh, narcotics. The smuggling, wildlife smuggling is the second uh, next uh, thing after uh, narcotics. So all these wild animal articles are being traded without uh, being, it is uh, without, without knowing it is being traded legally. Once they convert the any wild animal article into any ornaments, then it is very difficult to uh, trace it. The trace the origin, you know, unless in other ways we go for detailed examination of uh, foreign, uh, this um, forensic analysis, and maybe DNA, DNA isolation. Then alone we will come to know this product is made up of this particular wild animal article. So it, uh, it is a second uh, trade, highest trade. Wild animal illegal trade is a second uh, after uh, narcotics. So in that way also we are uh, spreading our rights. Then uh, in 2019, we conducted one uh, Government of India sponsored program that is the Green Skill Development Program. So uh, in that program, uh, we have conducted uh, the various activities like bird watching and other activities so that uh, it will be a good, a good uh, information for the participating people. So we conducted Green Skill, de green skill Development Program also in our zoological park. Then uh, zoo club activities, as already told, whoever uh, is interested to participate in uh, uh, zoo club activities, they can come forward, they can volunteer themselves for screening plastic materials and uh, painting the zoo walls and educating the visitors and participating and volunteering in the awareness sessions, etc. So we are getting a good response from the student community. This is uh, the important Forest Day celebrations. Uh, that is how we we attract the students. Now uh, we are getting uh, we are uh, we we are likely to get another program from uh, state government regarding the development of uh, zoo school into 7D theater zoo interpretation. So in that way, it is uh, if 7D theater program that is 7D theater. Uh, has been, if it is established in the zoological park, it will be a great boon to the park and student community because they can visualize the uh, the zoo activities in a better way and uh, they can uh, see the, uh, before coming to the zoo, what they should do, what they should not do, how the zoo will be, like that um, pre prior uh, preliminary interaction will be given in that uh, zoo theater, seven day theater, they, then they can go around the zoo for seeing the animal. So the interpretation come 70 theater will be a definitely will be helping for the people. So we are expecting that I think it will be materialized within one or two years because by establishing zoo theater itself, it will take some time. So once it uh, gets uh, sanctioned, uh, we will be taking up the activities uh, for transforming the present uh, uh, present, uh, museum, uh, present uh, museum into 70 theater hall. It is one of the mandatory provision told by Central Zoo Authority. Each zoo should have the separate uh, exhibit, uh, exhibit hall 
for the visitor so that they can understand the nature uh, in a better manner. That is the mandatory condition laid by Central Zoo Authority. Hope for the 70 theater also will be in place in the Zoological Park for the uh, benefit of the larger public. These are some of the photographs of various contest, uh, various uh, competitions we conducted. Next. Then uh, we have our website. So uh, in website, we have a lot of uh, features like uh, live virtual video. Then uh, one to adopt our animals. One can, they can go for adopting the animals, then ticket booking, then ball support, chat service we have initiated, live desk support also we have initiated. So uh, this our website is uh, wonderfully designed and it has been uh, more than 2 million uh, visitors we have so far visited our website. So we have our social media also, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube channel. We are getting good response from various sectors of the people. So this is the, the chat option we have enabled in our website. So they can uh, get uh, some clarity whatever doubts they have. Okay, this is one of the uh, very important uh, this thing, animal live, live streaming program. We can visualize what now uh, Royal Bengal Tiger is doing. Live streaming 24 into 7 uh, is enabled in our website. This is how uh, even visual communication, uh, audio visual communication technology we enabled for the More than 6 crore views we have. And only zoo in the world to offer this facility for 15 animals free of cost. That is important thing. If you over visit our website, they will get to know this uh, live streaming facility and we are not charging anything. So, uh, very good response uh, we have actually received for this uh, live streaming uh, facility. Zoom mobile app also. Then we have e surveillance. More than 190 surveillance camera have been installed yeah, across the uh, length and breadth of our zoo. Many cameras are installed inside the animal enclosures, parking area, children park area, then a ticket counter. Everywhere we install on the roadsides so that uh, we can better monitor uh, not only animals but also the uh, various activities of uh, zoo. And then we have this uh, animal adoption program also. Many corporate countries, uh, many corporate uh, companies, and then uh, individuals, uh, many uh, celebrities, they used to adopt animals and they contribute for the well, well being of the animals. So, actually, this is a welcoming thing because during COVID time, uh, the financial crisis was managed by this kind of uh, courtesies. Thanks. Then we have a lot of publications. Uh, this is a exit to conservation center. So, uh, so we we used to mail uh, newsletters, then uh, annual reports, then uh, everything. All these kind of publications definitely uh, is uh, uh, carrying the scientific message across the country. So this exit to conservation. Actually, uh, being the zoological park is an executive center. We are also providing platform for wildlife research. The research scholars and various institutes, they can come and collect some non-invasive method, samples from wild animals, and they can go for various research. And it may be any kind of research or study, maybe animal behavior, or it may be a parasitic load in animal, it may be a uh, breeding strategy, breeding behavior of particular animal, any kind of wildlife process, they can come and being a captive center, being a captive captive animal maintenance center, and exit to conservation center. In this geological park, providing wider platform for research orientation, research and development uh, in a non -method, non invasive method. Uh, <clears throat> So this is how we used to uh, function and uh, I thank one and all for uh, passion listening. Thank you, thank you madam.
for your kind and elaborate presentation on the activities of Aringa uh, Zoological Park, its research, its uh, display, and then uh, various publications and school programs, outreach activities. Uh, very wonderful to hear all the activities about this. Uh, and then I'm sure that the school children and public and whomsoever um, they are interested, they will be approaching you uh, for uh, involvement and uh, better uh, utilization. Thank you, madam. Now, it is my pleasure and duty to invite Dr. S. Saundar Rajaparmamal, Executive Director, Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center. Um, it's a part of the uh, Department of Higher Education, Government of Tamil Nadu. Dr. Saundar Rajaparmamal uh, uh, is a PhD holder in uh, Astronomy and Astrophysics. Um, he found indirect evidences for the existence of supermassive black holes at the center of various galaxies. Served at Indian Institute of Astrophysics um, Observatory at uh, Kavalur. Uh, in the year 1999, he joined Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center as a scientist. Presently engaged in science popularization activities such as new planetarium programs, interactive exhibits, outreach activities for the rural uh, children and uh, public throughout the Tamil Nadu state. Um, in astrophysics, Indian Institute of Astrophysics, he worked there for more than 10 years and for the past 23 years he is with the Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center and uh, presently the Executive Director. Selected by DST Government of India as a member of delegation of scientists to visit South Africa in 2012, Japan in 2017, Germany in 2018 and he has written many textbooks and uh, for Diploma in Astronomy and Astrophysics, um, written many popular articles and in leading magazines and the newspapers, a lot of research publications, particularly 21 uh, research papers in uh, various journals of uh, Astronomy and Astrophysics. Uh, it is our pl pleasure to have you, sir, uh, among us on this important uh, day and on this topic. I request you to make your presentation and I will also request all the uh, presenters to kindly restrict themselves to the allotted time. We are running short of time. Thank you. It is uh, the injustice, but then uh, we have no other go. Please. Uh, kindly unmute yourself. Sir, sir, voice is not audible, sir. Kindly unmute, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Ramsan, sir, and uh, uh, good morning to our uh, member secretary, sir, and then other uh, dignitaries and then officials from DST. Thank you very much for giving us the, uh, this wonderful opportunity. And uh, the talk, the talk by uh, uh, our Dr. Kanjana was uh, uh, say, insp inspirational. It's so wonderful. There's so many activities they are doing. Uh, uh, was very happy because I lived inside the forest for nearly for 10 years and then uh, she took us uh, on a journey through the forest. Uh, thank you, madam. And then uh, see, uh, allow me to introduce about the activities, various activities of Tamil Nadu Science and Technology. And see, see, nowadays, uh, see, science uh, communication uh, is very, very important as we all know. Okay. I, I, I hope you are able to see my uh, presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, so, see, as we all know, no, sir, science communication is a very, 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 very important uh, uh, activity because uh, the science of, you will have to master the science of some science communication itself. Uh, because as we know, see many countries, uh, scientifically advanced countries are prospering. Uh, some say, as I used to talk about uh, uh, Japan. See, for example, Japan is known as a departmental store of disasters. So many disasters uh, uh, strike that country. In spite of that, uh, they are uh, uh, very rich countries, uh, one of the rich countries in the world because of their ability to think scientifically. Also, Israel, take the example of Israel, Germany, and all. So, uh, they do not have much uh, resources, but still uh, they are uh, wealthy countries because of their uh, scientific knowledge. See, uh, the countries like Arabia, Saudi Arabia and uh, other countries are uh, rich uh, because of their resources. Uh, but uh, mm, see, other countries, as I mentioned, you know, we need uh, to develop uh, scientific uh, attitude. See, India uh, is uh, uh, 
there's plenty of uh, human resources. You have to make use of uh, uh, these human resources uh, for uh, developing the science talent uh, to make our country also prosperous. Uh, already we are in the in the right track, uh, but still we will have to uh, sustain the phase. To sustain the phase, of science communication is very very important. Uh, see, for example, in uh, Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center, we are having planetaria. In Chennai and Tiruchirappalli, we are having planetariums, and then in other places, small planetariums are there. And then we are taking uh, planetariums using our mobile uh, museum uh, to different parts of the state. So, using the uh, planetaria, we teach astronomy uh, concepts in astronomy and astrophysics. Ah, see, for example, in this slide, we are seeing see, Earth goes around the sun. Okay. Uh, so when it is closest, it is at uh, for 1.7 million kilometer. When it is farthest, it is at 152 million kilometers. See, uh, when it is at 152 million kilometers, it is our uh, uh, summer. See, in July 5, it is at the farthest distance. Contrary, contrary to uh, many people's thought, you know, when it is at a distance of 152 million kilometers, it is our summer in the northern hemisphere. And uh, in January 5, it is our winter. At the time, it is uh, closer, 147 million kilometers. See, so this uh, we, can, we know because uh, we, 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 could, we could estimate the distances to the uh, sun and uh, earth accurately. And also we know sun is, uh, earth is uh, uh, spinning on its axis. And uh, at different uh, latitudes, it will be uh, at different speeds because uh, when you are very closer to the equator, okay, uh, the earth will be turning at a speed of about 460, kilo, uh, 460 meters per second at such speed it will be returning. So, this who measured all these things? There are some certain techniques using which we can measure distance from the earth to the sun in terms of kilometers. Uh, also, you will be able to measure uh, the, the rate at which uh, earth spins and we can also measure, uh, see, estimate speed of moon uh, speed of moon around the earth see think of the, this this is all astronomical figures right it's huge figures and then uh, huge uh, techniques right so it's uh, complicated techniques we may think so ratio of the diameter of the sun and the moon think and different differential rotation of the sun sun is uh, not a solid body it is a gaseous body at uh, equator it will be rotating at a faster rate and then it is something like 25 days it will turn uh, very close to the equator as you move northwards no it will be moving very slowly maybe it may take 60 days also because it's a gaseous uh, uh, the, that is uh, plasma it is in plasma state so it uh, turns differentially how to measure so you some people uh, measured the differential rotation of the sun uh, some people measured the ratio of the diameters of the earth and this uh, sun and the moon they measured the distance to the sun. They measured the speed at which it rotates. See, all these uh, estimates were made here, here itself in Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center. Do you know who measured all these? See, these kind of uh, uh, astronomical figures, you know, so they measured, so some people, some uh, scientists measured, I shall show you their faces. So these are the people who measured all these things. Uh, uh, distance, uh, uh, to the sun and then uh, the rate at which earth rotates all these things uh, how see that is the uh, success of our science communication methods uh, see we make use of our facilities here i shall tell you how they what uh, what were the uh, experiments they did in due course uh, so i will not take much time I, I will restrain myself within 15 minutes i shall uh, try to finish it off so so this is the uh, way in which we communicate science uh, so this is only about astronomy, but here uh, we have uh, galleries, scientific galleries on nuclear uh, uh, science and then galleries on defense research, space research, many things. So uh, bi biology also, biotechnology and then evolution part, all these things, we, we, we convey uh, scientific content uh, and different content also. So uh, this is a, a brief uh, introduction about our center and the Tamil Nadu Science Center, Science and Technology Center is an autonomous society and it has established science centers in Chennai, Tiruchirappalli, Velur and Coimbatore. So these are the four places where we are operating uh, science centers and then some in two places we are having uh, planetariums also. And then as you know, no, many of us know sky observation camps are very popular uh, in this area, not only here in uh, Trishik Vayamthur also. So whenever there is a rare event, something like eclipse or transit or uh, 
any other uh, accreditation and any other astronomically event, uh, we make use of the facility and then keep our telescopes. We are having an array of uh, telescopes. We keep them out and then we invite the general public to come and uh, observe this sky event. This is uh, again free of cost. They can come and uh, we make use of our uh, photogram police pupil personnel uh, to control the uh, flow of uh, uh, pupil. Okay, that way we manage showing uh, several thousands of pupils uh, uh, the astronomical event. So the, those uh, things also in a picture I will show you. So this kind of science popularization activities are uh, uh, see, in, in, in India. So this is the place in Chennai uh, that is Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center is the one uh, science center which is having maximum number of outreach activities. Other places, uh, see, you will not be able to find this kind of activity. See, these, these, all these things, you know, are being uh, co done in coordination with the uh, Department of Science and Technology, Vinyan Prasar, uh, NC, STC, and uh, our Tamil Nadu State Council for Science and Technology. We collaborate with them and then do. And then we also get uh, uh, resource persons, experts, uh, like our uh, Professor Sivraman sir, who is going to speak next, and then uh, uh, like, uh, uh, Dr. Shanmoom sir, uh, who is also going to give his presentation. So this kind of experts also come and help us uh, in organizing this kind of science communication and additional activities. But uh, the infrastructure wise we are having, see here you are having the beautiful science center uh, where uh, see we get about uh, footfall of about 1000 per day average. So nowadays of course all of us know now it is a pandemic period, it has gone down. But uh, earlier on, earlier we were getting something like uh, 3.5 lakh uh, per year because uh, we, are, uh, we are not able to increase the football because you know, football because uh, this um, planetarium has uh, uh, restricted seat capacity it is uh, 200 seats and then uh, we are restrained to uh, show only six shows per day so we cannot exceed any any anything beyond uh, 1200 visitors uh, uh, per day so um, so we are having a uh, sort of uh, uh, 3.5 lakh uh, per year some such uh, uh, football we are getting and then uh, we are having a, this is the science center in Tirchirapalli and uh, in Satuachari we are having a small uh, science center with uh, four galleries and then a regional science center uh, is a huge one uh, sprawling uh, seven acres uh, uh, facility and then uh, this is our uh, Peria science and technology center this is just uh, added beauties so these are um, the world class uh, amenities we have introduced very recently you can come and then witness uh, the planetary immersive shows. See, we used to enjoy 4K shows in uh, multiplexes and all. We used to pay 400 per uh, per uh, person and all, no? 400 rupees, and then we enjoy uh, 4K shows. But uh, this, uh, by paying only 30 rupees, you can see 6K immersive, uh, that is 15 meter. Uh, uh, screen that is your uh, that uh, dome diameter is 15 meters and then the entire dome will become your uh, screen and then you get immersive uh, 6k resolution uh, uh, shows okay they exclusively on uh, astronomical see you will be taken on a uh, tour uh, to, uh, to the entire solar system okay something like that you feel like uh, flying to different uh, celestial uh, bodies okay this is this, this, this is the one uh, recently added it's a world class facility now and then uh, this is your uh, science this is the earth science it's another uh, important uh, area uh, so here so now if you look up uh, the sky you, you will be able to see a patch of cloud over chennai the same patch you can see in this uh, 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 globe because uh, this is a miniature version, a version of our own this is six uh, uh, six uh, foot dia globe. Uh, it gets feed from National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration (NOAA). Uh, so directly, see, we, by obtaining uh, data from uh, something like 30, 40 uh, uh, satellites, it collects data and then uh, they stream uh, down to this place. And then uh, see, not only uh, atmospheric changes, you will be able to see oceanic changes like El Nino and other things and. Uh, uh, volcanic eruptions and also uh, uh, the earthquakes are happening you no know, live wherever it's uh, and then it's along with its uh, intensity and then uh, the population growth and then um, the emission being emitted by different countries all we will be able to see live so even we are showing uh, the brazilian brazilian uh, brazilian wildfire also we were able to see using this facility 
So, and here, see, we know the importance of uh, nuclear war because uh, the, we know about the climate change is happening. And then, uh, so to stall that, uh, we will have to stop uh, burning of uh, fossil fuels. Uh, one, one, one of the alternate uh, fuel is uh, this nuclear fuel. Uh, to educate our uh, students about the importance of uh, this uh, nuclear power production and also to tell them about the safety of uh, nuclear power plants installed in our country. Uh, this, has, uh, this, is in, uh, 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 this is established and then a walk through. Uh, uh, this gallery will give uh, the visitor a good knowledge in the field of nuclear power. So we, uh, we are not only in nuclear power, uh, see we are fourth largest military power. So to, to, to demonstrate that, you know, so we are having a defense research gallery where uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, hardware of our military, you know, uh, miniature, uh, miniaturized versions of hardware of our military, uh, are kept uh, for display with explanations. Okay, and uh, so as we know, no. So uh, you see, our country, you know, is proud of uh, having. Uh, uh, see, theoretical scientists are more in our country because though we do not have the capacity that is um, money power to build huge laboratories, but uh, worldwide, you know, we are having uh, uh, brain power. Uh, see, if you take uh, at least uh, hundred top uh, scientists, you no, know, at least uh, fifteen will be. From our country, uh, that is, uh, they they are able to think. Uh, see something like Srinivas Ramanujan, the mathematical ability uh, is our strength. So, um, so here we are having our uh, Ramanujan mathematics reality also. Uh, uh, this place uh, is being used by uh, uh, mathematicians like our Sivaraman sir and all, and they come and then teach the uh, children. Um, and uh, this wonderful place where we can learn about uh, Ramanujan's. Uh, uh, genius and uh, uh, other mathematical concepts. So, and uh, India is a superpower in the field of uh, space also. So, here uh, in collaboration with VSS Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, uh, we have kept uh, on uh, uh, space gallery. So, likewise, we are having many facilities. See, now uh, children will have to know startups are uh, picking up and children will have to uh, develop. Uh, uh, they will be given uh, some, they, they are having good ideas, but uh, they do not have uh, this one tools uh, to develop their uh, ideas into uh, 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 prototype model. So here we have kept uh, uh, innovation hub in Chennai. Uh, this uh, innovation hub has uh, 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 equipment in the field of uh, electronics and then uh, this uh, robotics and then chemi chemistry and physics and then mechanics. All these uh, tools are here. Children can come here, sit to make use of these facilities and then build their own, uh, see, convert their ideas into uh, uh, a small uh, prototype model. So similar identical uh, ones uh, were uh, established in Pichirabli and Coimbatore also, uh, where innovation was recently were uh, inaugurated by our Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. And then, uh, see, of course, we are having evolution park, this kind of outdoor parks also we are having. Uh, so since I do not have time, I'm shall I'm shall be passing through these and then uh, so throughout these. See, these are the, I, I told you no. So only four uh, science centers are there, but other uh, rural parts, you know, to 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 take uh, scientific concepts to the rural parts. They are having these museum buses where we keep uh, one uh, small inflatable plantarium and then uh, uh, small uh, science exhibit exhibition and then uh, video display and then telescope. All these things go. To different uh, parts of the states and then stay inside a school and then they conduct uh, programs uh, uh, for the nearby schools. So this is being done. This is Pichirapilli and this is Bellur and then this is Coimbatore Science Centers. In Coimbatore, uh, this is the textile gallery. That, that is the place, you know, South uh, Manchester of South India. So, uh, so thematic gallery of uh, uh, this one. Uh, here we can see our uh, member secretary looking on. And uh, this is done. And then outreach activities. Uh, see, this is the one I was telling. No, uh, inflatable planetarium. And then whenever there is a uh, celestial event, we make use of the opportunity uh, to invite these students to come and then see. Uh, see, this is here they are watching where transit of Venus and then uh, eclipses and then uh, yearly twice. You know, the sun comes over our latitude at the time. We organize this zero shadow day. Okay. And then we tell them about the apparent motion of the sun across the sky. 
and then uh, here you can see a, a small naman so using this naman you will be able to find the latitude analysis this is the astronomy course you know uh, recently and then uh, science democracy here uh, our uh, scientific advisor is explaining about bernoulli's principle so small scientific concepts are uh, conveyed using small uh, experiments okay so old photographs only this is a uh, um, scientist program here farmer uh, uh, dst secretary is presenting but actually this is a brainstorming session by inviting the uh, principals of uh, schools uh, uh, before the launch of Inspire, uh, uh, Inspire uh, Award scheme. So at the time he uh, collected inputs from uh, uh, insights, uh, input from uh, teachers and then converted uh, those ideas and then introduced that uh, Inspire Award. So these are the programs. So here you can see Rakesh Sharma who came and then presented and then the rural areas we go and then uh, organize uh, science uh, this one. These are the two, I, I told you not two recently added. So this is our uh, science center. So this is a, a, a sort of bad side view, and we are having a, a, that Maruti aircraft and then GSLV model, along with the uh, the description about these uh, uh, objects. Okay, uh, so you, you will enjoy visit to this one. So you will you, you will take uh, nearly two hours. So if you come here, now you can spend two hours and then learn many things. Okay, this is our uh, modern. I told you, you know, six K. Uh, uh, projector planetarium. Okay, this is that uh, science on sphere facility where we teach uh, uh, this one, uh, earth science uh, and all. Okay, and uh, these are the galleries, of course, this is the uh, nuclear gallery, and then this is a science park uh, like our uh, evolution park and all. So, uh, and then uh, see, this is uh, regular activities, outreach activities. So, see, this is, the, as I told you, you know, this is the uh, Science center which organizes uh, maximum number of outreach activities. This is our uh, so discovering Rama and new Rama. This is a math talent search. It is a very popular program. Uh, every year uh, we organize uh, around the National Mathematics Mathematics Day. Okay, this is science hands-on activities. This was organized in a uh, school uh, near Pollachi. And uh, see, you know, you know, this is, uh, planetarium shows uh, are intended for the pupils. So they are having very good, uh, bright uh, visuals and uh, uh, captivating uh, narration. And all. But uh, see, those uh, with the hearing difficulty, you know, they're differently abled children. So they, they will not be able to enjoy. So uh, at our uh, science center, we, we introduced, uh, see, for the first time in our country, we introduced a planetarium show for the hearing uh, difficulty people. And this is uh, for uh, differently abled people. And spend a day in science center is a very popular program. Uh, children attend the uh, uh, events along with their parent, uh, parents and then homemakers. And this is a, a diploma in astronomy and astrophysics. And then we provided them with the text, uh, that is uh, 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 textbooks for this course. And then we organize uh, contact. And then cutting edge technologies uh, also, we organize programs. So many, see, this is this is a cafeteria approach we used to say. So if we are having uh, a celestial event, uh, we tell them about uh, the events like this. You no, know, lot many uh, posters are kept uh, as they walk through. No, so they will be able to understand these things. And also we keep uh, LCD projectors, and then they see visuals of uh, those things. And then uh, different. See over here, they are using sunspotter to observe the uh, image of the sun. And in the different places, uh, we are having direct view. And then uh, likewise, you know, different. This is direct view of uh, sun using. Uh, filter solar filter so likewise uh, see, this is the event uh, annular solar eclipse uh, we, we made use of this event to organize a uh, national camp at uh, the place of, and then this is the differential the, the, you, we use the sunspots uh, to measure i told you know beginning uh, the children measured the differential rotation of the sun see this is how they do at uh, different latitude they observe the sun uh, sunspot uh, over a period of one month and then they measure the speed at which the sunspot moves that tells them uh, the differential movement of the uh, uh, sun. And then here, yeah, this is the activity, sunspot activities, and then sky skies. And this is using this normal, no normal small uh, shadow by measuring the shadows. Uh, the children know they will be able to measure the latitude and longitude of their own place. Uh, see, we have taught many people, and then they have measured uh, the latitude and longitude of their schools. So we distributed this uh, small normal also to different schools and then told them small printout they gave we gave them and uh, the technology 
the technique with which they will be able to measure the latitude and the longitude of the uh, place using by measuring simply measuring the uh, length of the shadow and the height of the nomon. So this is uh, the method uh, employed uh, by the students uh, to measure the distance to the sun. First, they measure the ratio of the uh, distance orbits of Earth and Venus so by observing the altitude of the Venus using the small. Uh, see, we made ourselves uh, this uh, small altitude dial, dial. The altitude and azimuth will be able to measure using this small utility. So we are having it. If you come, we will be able to show you. See, this is nothing but a small protractor fitted with a uh, plumb line. See, this is the plumb that is weight tied here. So, using this, uh, we will be able to measure the. So, likewise, you know, this is facilities uh, for different variables. So we look up for them, and then see, this is this, this is the International Planetarium Society's uh, paper. No, uh, this one uh, magazine they published this uh, the first time in the in India. We introduced this uh, special planetarium show for the hearing impaired children. And uh, this Inspire Monarch is here, the nodal agency for uh, conducting this Inspire uh, Monarch uh, scheme. So, with the support of uh, DST, with the kind support of the DST, we are organizing also with the support of school education. And then, since uh, the inception, we are organizing this program. And then, so far, uh, 44 crore uh, of uh, worth of uh, um, uh, awards were distributed to the uh, school children of Tamil Nadu since 2009. And uh, this is Arikil Palai scheme. This is in coordination with uh, 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 Vinyan Prasad. We are organizing this. We are the nodal uh, center. And then uh, you, in this, no, so over uh, since August 2020, we have organized uh, over 300 webinars. So all of them, no, by inviting eminent personalities, scientists, and also doctors, and all. And uh, we are publishing a e monthly e magazine uh, every month uh, containing. Translated articles of uh, eminent scientists and then direct uh, contribution by Tamil scientists and uh, is being published every month. You can see in our website uh, this uh, detail. And then we have also published uh, these uh, books. Likewise, you know, TNST is uh, constantly engaged in science publication activities uh, uh, for the benefit of the pupil in this region. So I have many more things to tell, but uh, considering the time limit, uh, at the outset itself, uh, Dr. Ram Samin sir uh, has restrained us. So with this, I shall conclude my presentation. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, sir, for your wonderful uh, presentation and the crisp presentation. Uh, considering the time limit, I think you have covered mostly uh, the activities and programs of the uh, Science Center. I invite on behalf of Tamil Nadu Science Center uh, for all the people who are interested to visit the center and enjoy the facilities and enlighten themselves on science and technology topics. Thank you, sir. Now it is my pleasant duty to introduce Dr. S. Dhanalakshmi, Curator, Geology Section, Raman Museum. Um, Madam uh, is a uh, worked as an executive indexer in FPA Technologies um, in 2010 to 2012 and also as our technical editor in uh, Donuts E-Data Technical Solution from 2008 to 2010. Then uh, she joined the um, uh, geology system at uh, Raman uh, collects uh, geological objects from various parts of the Tamil Nadu, conducts original research on objects and guides the organization with collective documentation and shares the knowledge with the public. Suitable land was searched and located for Ariel uh, Fossil Museum and uh, collected minerals and fossils and uh, rocks and displayed there. And uh, uh, delivered lectures to various colleges uh, like American College, University College, the list goes on. Delivered lectures in connection with the botany uh, on topics such as Unami, Marundi, Sangagala, Unavum, um, Tamilaru, medicinal plants, etc. Only epigraphic training uh, is being done by uh, Madam through YouTube. Conducts various competitions for school students uh, like drawing, oratorial, singing, writing, and all. So, with a variety of uh, activities in science communication and uh, using different tools and methods. Uh, it is our pleasure to have uh, Dr. Galakshmi among us uh, to explain the activities and the experience she is having in science communication and popularization. Madam, over to you. I once again agree you about the time to mind. Sorry, sure, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Ram. Ramaswamy, sir. And I would uh, also like to thank our director who was encouraging uh, for giving own boost lectures through webinar. And thank you, sir. Let's start, sir. 
Yes, please, ma'am. Yes. Can you able to see see the screen, sir? So in the screen, there is no. Madam, okay. Hello. Screen size or the maximum for now, manikar. Presentation. Varla, ma'am. Oh, okay, ma'am. Bye. பழைய காலத்துல இருக்கிற ஆர்ட் மட்டும் இல்லாம அறிவியலையுமே வந்து எதிர்காலத்துல இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கும் வருங்கால ஜெனரேஷனுக்கும் நம்ம தெரியப்படுத்துறதுக்காக தான் மியூசியம் வந்து நம்ம யூஸ் பண்றோம் இட்ஸ் அ மீடியம் ஆக்சுவலி மியூசியம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சென்னை மியூசியம் வந்து செகண்ட் லா ஓல்டஸ்ட் மியூசியம் இன் இந்தியா எயிட்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி ஒன்ல ஸ்டார்ட் ஆச்சு இட் இஸ் அன் மல்டி பர்பஸ் மியூசியம் சிச்சுவேட்டட் அட் ஆன் அன் எக்ஸ்டென்ட் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ்டீன் பாயிண்ட் டூ ஃபைவ் ஏக்கர்ஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் சிக்ஸ் இண்டிவிஜுவல் பில்டிங்ஸ் இருக்கு அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபோர் கேலரிஸ் இருக்கு இதில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆர்கியாலஜி ஆந்த்ரோபாலஜி ஆர்ட் நியூமஸ்மேட்டிக்ஸ் பாட்னி ஜுவாலஜி ஜியாலஜி சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் டிசைன் அண்ட் டிஸ்பிளே எஜுகேஷன் அண்ட் கன்சர்வேஷன் செக்ஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் இருக்கு ஸோ இப்போ நம்ம வந்து மியூசியம் வந்து இப்போ இந்த கான்செப்ட் வந்து சயின்ஸுங்கிறதால சயின்ஸ்ல இருக்கிற மியூசியம்ஸ் மட்டும் கேலரிஸ் மட்டும் பார்க்கலாம் ஸோ ஒரு கியூரேட்டரோட ஒர்க் என்னன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டாக்குமெண்டிங் கலெக்டிங் கேட்டலாகிங் பப்ளிஷிங் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் எப்படி நம்ம வந்து கேட்சியா கொடுக்கறது அப்படியெல்லாம் யோசிச்சு நம்ம வந்து ஒரு எக்ஸிபிட்ட வந்து டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ பாட்னில பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நமக்கு சிஸ்டமேட்டிக் பாட்னி எக்கனாமிக் பாட்னி அண்ட் டெக்ஸ்டைல் பாட்னி சொல்லிட்டு த்ரீ கேட்டகரிஸா பிரிச்சிருக்கோம் சிஸ்டமேட்டிக் பாட்னி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டாக்டர் ப்ரொஃபஸர் பால் பாட்னி சொல்லுவாங்க அவரை பேஸ் பண்ணி அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணுவாங்க அந்த கிளாஸ் அந்த மாதிரி ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் அந்த டிஸ்பிளேல வச்சிருக்கோம் நம்ம சோ ஒரு ஏஞ்சு ஒரு ஜிம்னோஸ்பர்ம்ஸ்னா எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு ஏஞ்சோஸ்பர்ம்னா எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு டெரிடோஃபைட் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு ஃபங்கல் எப்படி இருக்கும் அதை பிளான்டா பார்த்தோம்னா அதோட பார்ட்ஸ் என்ன அதோட இன்டர்னல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் நமக்கு என்னென்ன இருக்கு அதை பார்த்தாலே ஒரு கிளாரிபிகேஷன் தெரியற மாதிரி வந்து நமக்கு வந்து ஈஸியா சில்ட்ரனுக்கு புரியற மாதிரி தான் மெயினா வந்து டிஸ்பிளே வச்சிருப்பாங்க இங்க மெயினா பாத்தீங்கன்னா சில்ட்ரனை வந்து நம்ம என்கேஜ் பண்றது தான் வந்து நம்மளோட இன்ட்ரெஸ்டே இங்க வந்து எஜுகேட்டிங் சில்ட்ரன் த்ரூ என்டர்டைன்மெண்ட் அந்த மாதிரி இருக்க மாதிரி தான் இருக்கும் அவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப இல்லாம பார்த்த உடனே புரியற மாதிரி புரிக்கிற மாதிரி டிஸ்பிளே அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட்ஸ் வச்சிருக்கோம் ஜின்னோஸ்கோப்னா எப்படி இருக்கும் அதோட டைப்ஸ் என்ன அதோட கிளாசிபிகேஷன்ஸ் என்ன கெலோடோஃபைட்ஸ்னா என்ன கிளாசிபிகேஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் என்னென்ன அப்படின்னு வச்சிருக்கோம் இன்செக்டிவ் ஒரு பிளான்ஸ்னா என்னென்ன ஸோ அந்த பிளான்ஸ் வந்து எப்படி அந்த இன்செக்ட் பண்ணுவோம் டிஸ்பிளேல வச்சிருக்கோம் வந்து ஒரு கேலரியோட வியூஸ் எப்படி இருக்குங்கிறத நாங்க காட்டிருக்கோம் சார் ஸோ ஃபங்கஸ்னா என்ன ஃபங்கல் வந்து இப்போதான் வந்து இட்ஸ் நாட் அ பிளான்ட்னு சொல்றோம் பட் பொட்டானிக்கலா ஃபங்கல் ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் பெர்ஸ்பெக்ட் அதோட சயின்டிஃபிக் பயசஸ் எப்படி இருக்கு மஷ்ரூம் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இட்ஸ் டைப் மஷ்ரூம் வந்து எந்த காலத்துலேருந்து நமக்கு தெரியும் எத்தனை வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடிலேருந்து மஷ்ரூம் நமக்கு தெரியும் அது எதுக்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்றோம் அதுல என்ன கேலரிஸ் இருக்கு அதுல என்ன வந்து ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் இருக்கா மினரல்ஸ் இருக்கா ஃபைபர் இருக்கா 
ஒரு ஜிங்க் எவ்வளோ இருக்கு அது பி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் எவ்வளோ இருக்கு நயசின் எவ்வளோ இருக்கு ஒரு ஒரு ஆப்ஜெக்டை பார்த்தா அது நம்ம ஃபுட்டோட ரிலேட் பண்ணி ஃபுட்டோட மட்டும் ரிலேட் பண்ணாம அது எக்கனாமிக்கலா எப்படி இருக்கு அதோட இக்காலஜி எப்படி இருக்கும் அதோட ஜியாகிரபி எப்படி இருக்கும் எவ்வளவு எக்ஸ்டென்ட்டுக்கு அது பண்ண முடியும் நமக்கு எவ்வளவு எக்கனாமிக்கலா ப்ராஃபிட் கிடைக்குங்கிற எல்லா டீடைல்ஸும் குழந்தைங்களுக்கு தெரியற மாதிரியும் தெரியவங்களுக்கு புரிஞ்சுக்கிற மாதிரியும் தான் நம்ம டிஸ்பிளேஸ் வச்சிருக்கோம் ஸோ அடுத்தது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கேலரியோட வியூல வந்து ஹெர்பேரியம் கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் வச்சிருக்கோம் ஆக்சுவலி எயிட்டீன் நைன்டில இருந்து இருக்கிற ஹெர்பேரியம் கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் நமக்கு இருக்கு பொதுவாக பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஹெர்பேரியம் கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் எப்படி பண்ணுறதுங்கிறத வந்து நம்ம வந்து பாட்னி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இங்கே வந்து தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறாங்க அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் ரிசர்ச்சர்ஸ்லாம் வரும்போது கூட சில என்டேஞ்சர்டு பிளான்ஸ் இருக்கும் அதை பற்றி தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்காகவும் இந்த வந்து நம்மளோட ஹெர்பேரியம் கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் யூஸ் ஆகுது ஸோ டிம்பர்ஸ் சவுத் இந்தியாவில் என்னென்ன டிம்பர்ஸ் கிடைக்குது அந்த டிம்பர்ஸ் எல்லாம் எதுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அதை எப்படி கட் பண்ணுறாங்க எந்த மாதிரி சா யூஸ் பண்ணி கட் பண்ணுறாங்க அதை பாலிஷ் பண்ணால் என்ன மாதிரி வுட் ஒர்க்ஸ்க்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் ஆகுது டைனிங்காக யூஸ் பண்ணுறது ஃபர்னிச்சருக்காக நம்ம காட்காக என்னென்ன மெட்டீரியல் யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படிங்கிற டீட்டெயில்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து சவுத் இந்தியாவில் கிடைக்கிற டிம்பர்ஸ் மட்டும் வி ஹேவ் டிஸ்பிளேட் இயர் அண்ட் இது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு டென்ட்ரோ குரோனாலஜி டென்ட்ரோ குரோனாலஜினா ஒரு ஏஜ் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறது ஒரு ட்ரீயோட ஏஜ் எப்படி கண்டுபிடிப்பாங்க அப்படிங்கிறதுக்காக ஒரு சின்ன மாடல் வச்சுருக்கோம் இது ஆக்சுவலி வந்து டேஞ்சூர் ராஜா வந்து ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணது மியூசியமுக்கு இதில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அந்த கான்சன்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கிள்ஸ் வச்சு தான் ஏஜ் கண்டுபிடிப்பாங்க இதை வந்து எப்படி கார்லேட் பண்ணியிருக்காங்கன்னா இந்தியாவில் நடந்த ஒவ்வொரு ஈவெண்ட்டும் அந்த ஏஜியும் கார்லேட் பண்ணி போட்டிருக்காங்க இப்போ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட்ல என்ன நடந்தது அப்படிங்கிறத பார்க்கணும்னா அந்த தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட்ல மரம் வந்து வளர ஆரம்பிக்கும் போது என்ன யார் வந்தாங்க நாட்டுக்குள்ள இன்வேட் ஆனது யாரு என்ன டிஸ்கவர் பண்ணாங்கிற சின்ன இன்ஃபர்மேஷனை வந்து பாட்னியை வந்து ஹிஸ்டரியோட கார்லேட் பண்ணி இப்படி ஒரு டிஸ்பிளே வச்சிருக்கோம் ஸோ அதுக்கப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எக்கனாமிக் ஜியாலஜி கேலரியும் இருக்கு எந்த பொருள் நம்ம எடுத்தாலுமே அது எக்கனாமிக்கலா இம்பார்ட்டண்டா அது எப்படி வளருது எப்படி என்ன எங்க இருக்கு அப்படிங்கலாம் நம்ம தெரிஞ்சுக்கணுங்கிறதுக்காக எக்கனாமிக் கேலரி வந்து ஃபைபரோட ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கோம் ஒரு நார் இருக்கு ஒரு நார்னா எந்த மரத்துல இருந்து கிடைக்கிது இப்ப வந்து ஒரு பைனாப்பிள் இருந்து நார் எடுக்கிறாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் தென்னை இதுல இருந்து நார் எடுக்கிறாங்க ஸோ என்னென்ன மரத்துல இருந்து எந்த பிளான்ட்ல இருந்து நார் எடுக்கிறாங்க அந்த நாரோட பை ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் என்ன அப்படின்னு சொல்றதுக்காக ஒரு ஃபைபர்ஸ் பத்தி வச்சிருக்கோம் அந்த ஃபைபர்ஸ் வந்து எதுக்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் ஆகுது இப்ப நம்ம வந்து கோ கிரீன் சொல்றோம் அதனால பிளாஸ்டிக் யூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடாதுன்னு சொல்றோம் ஸோ அந்த பிளாஸ்டிக் யூஸ் பண்ணாம இருக்கிறதுக்கு ஃபைபர் மெட்டீரியல் நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அந்த ஃபைபர் மெட்டீரியல் என்னென்ன பண்ணுறாங்க மேட் யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க ஷூஸ் ஸ்லிப்பர்ஸ் இப்போ வந்து உங்களுக்கு சாரீ சல்வார் வரைக்கும் வந்துருச்சு ஸோ எப்படியெல்லாம் வந்து நம்மளோட ப்ராடக்ட்ஸை வந்து நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படிங்கிறத பப்ளிக்கு வந்து எஜுகேட் பண்ணுறதுக்காக இந்த மாதிரி எக்கனாமிக் கேலரிஸ் வச்சுருக்கோம் இதில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சுகர் கேன் அந்த மாதிரி சுகர் கேன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் வச்சுருக்கோம் அந்த சுகர் கேன்னா எவ்வளோ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் சுகர் கேன் இருக்குது சுகர் கேனில் வந்து ஒரு ஏக்கருக்கு விளைஞ்சால் எவ்வளோ ப்ராஃபிட் கிடைக்கும் நம்ம வந்து ஜென்ரலாகவே நம்ம ஃபுட்டில் வந்து ஒயிட் கலராக அவாய்ட் பண்ணணும்னு சொல்கிறாங்க வெள்ளை சர்க்கரையாக இருக்கலாம் வெள்ளை பாலாக இருக்கலாம் வெள்ளை தயிராக இருக்கலாம் வெள்ளை அரிசியாக இருக்கலாம் இந்த மூணுமே நம்ம வந்து எப்பவுமே வந்து விளக்கணும்னா நம்ம வந்து ஆயில் நல்லா இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறோம் ஸோ சுகர் வந்து வந்து ஜாகரி ஃபார்ம்லேயே நம்ம எடுத்துக்கணும் நாட்டு சர்க்கரை உடம்புக்கு நல்லது அந்த மாதிரி சொல்கிற மாதிரியெல்லாம் வந்து நம்ம வந்து ஒரு ஷோ கேஸில் சுகர் பற்றி வச்சுருக்கோம் அதுக்கப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா என்னென்ன ஸ்ப ஸ்பைசஸ் இருக்குது நம்ம கிட்ட அப்படின்னா அந்த ஸ்பைசஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து எப்படி நமக்கு ரிலேட் ஆகுது நம்மளோட ஃபுட்டில் எப்படி ரிலேட் பண்ணுறோம் அந்த ஃபுட்டு எப்படி நமக்கு மெடிசனாக வருதுங்கிறத ரிலேட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ஏற்ற மாதிரி ஸ்பைசஸ் ஏலக்காய் நம்ம சொல்கிற சின்னமன் ஸ்டிக்கு பெப்பர் ஜீரா இனிப்போடம் <laughs> இனிப்ப சாப்பிடுறதன் மூலமா அந்த தலைவரி நீர் சுரப்பி வந்து அந்த நம்மளை பசி எடுக்க தூண்டி அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்மளை மென்மேலும் சாப்பிட வைக்கும் ஸோ கடைசியில கடை காய்ப்புன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க கடைசியில துவர்ப்போ கார்ப்போ இருக்க மாதிரி சாப்பிட்டா அந்த ஃபுல் மீல் வந்து சாட்டிஸ்பைடா இருக்குங்கிற
சாப்பாடோட நம்ம எப்படி எனர்ஜி இருக்கும் நம்மளோட பாடி அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா எப்படி சாப்பிடணும் காலையில் இஞ்சி கடும் பகல் சுக்கு மாலையில் கடுக்காய் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க சோ இதெல்லாம் எப்படி கிடைக்குது இதெல்லாம் எப்படி சாப்பிடணும் அப்படிங்கிற டீடைல்ஸ் வந்து நம்ம இந்த கேலரியில வந்து சொல்றோம் சோ சாப்பிடுற ஐட்டங்கள்ஸ் மட்டும் இல்ல நம்ம கிட்ட வந்து காஸ்மெட்டிக் ஐட்டம்ஸ் இருக்கு ஆயில்ஸ் எங்க இருந்து வருது எந்த எந்த இந்த விதையில இருந்து ஆயில்ஸ் எடுக்கிறோம் எந்தெந்த ஃபிளவர்ஸ்ல இருந்து காஸ்மெட்டிக் யூஸ் பண்றோம் நார்கோட்டிக் ட்ரக்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து எந்த மெடிசன் எந்தெந்த பிளான்ஸ்ல இருந்து எடுக்கிறோம் டீயில எதுல இருந்து வருது அதை எப்படி வந்து செக்ரிகேட் பண்றாங்க ஒரு லீஃப் லீஃபா இருந்தா எப்படி இருக்கு அதை பவுடரா இருந்தா என்ன அப்படின்னு கிரேட் பிரிக்கிறது எப்படி அப்படிங்கிற எல்லா டீடைல்ஸுமே இந்த எக்கனாமிக் பாட்னி கேலரியில நம்ம வந்து அல்மோஸ்ட் கவர் பண்றோம் ஸோ அது மட்டும் இல்லாம ஒரு சயின்டிஃபிக்கா என்ன பண்றோம்னா ஒவ்வொரு வந்து நம்ம போய் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணுறதுக்காக வி ஹென்ஸ்டோட வீடியோ வால் வீடியோல வந்து அந்த வால்ல வந்து எல்லா இன்ஃபர்மேஷனுமே வந்து நம்ம வந்து பண்ணி வச்சிருக்கோம் இப்ப எந்த பப்ளிக்கு எந்த மாதிரி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் தேவையோ அவங்க அந்த மாதிரி பிளே பண்ணி பாத்துக்கலாம் இப்ப எனக்கு வந்து எக்கனாமிக் பாட்னில வந்து எனக்கு சுகர் கேன் வளர்றதை பத்தி நான் பாக்கணும் அந்த சுகர் கேன் ஒரு ஏக்கர்ல எவ்வளவு வளருது இல்ல அது சுகர் கேன் சாப்பிடுறதால என்ன இது எப்படி என்ன டீடைல்ஸ்ங்கிறத பாக்கலாம் அப்படின்னா இந்த வீடியோ வால்ஸ்ல அவங்க வந்து பாத்துக்கலாம் சோ அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு வீடியோ வாலும் நாங்க வச்சிருக்கோம் சோ ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் கேலரிய பேம்பூல எப்படி இருக்கு பேம்பூ வந்து எப்படி பேப்பர் ப்ரெஸ் பேப்பருக்கு மட்டும் இல்லாம எப்படி வந்து பை ப்ராடக்ட் நம்ம ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் என்னெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்றோம் கூட ஒரு கூட ஒரு ஃப்ளவர் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் வைக்கிற பேஸ்கெட்ஸ் அந்த மாதிரி எல்லா பேஸ்கெட்ஸ் எப்படி பண்றாங்க அப்படிங்கிற எல்லாமுமே வந்து நம்ம இங்க வச்சிருக்கோம் அரிசி குடுக்கணும் ஒரு மூட்டு வழி இருக்க பேஷண்ட் என்ன அரிசி குடுக்கணும் ஒரு காவணி அரிசின்னு இருக்கு அந்த கருப்பு காவணி அரிசி எதுக்கு சாப்பிடணும் அது சாப்பிட்டா உடம்புக்கு எவ்வளவு நல்லது இப்ப வந்து ஃபேஷனா தான் ஆயிப்போச்சு ஆக்சுவலி பாத்தீங்கன்னா பிரவுன் ரைஸ் வந்து ஹஸ் பிகம் ஃபேஷன் ஃபேஷன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் மாதிரி நான் இப்போ ப்ரௌன் ரைஸ் சாப்பிட்றேன் டயட்காக அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி ஸோ அந்த மாதிரிலாம் இல்லாமல் இது வந்து நம்ம ஃபுட்டோட ப்ராக்டிஸ்லேயே ஆக்சுவலி இருந்திருக்கு கருப்பு காவணி அரிசி இருக்குது மாப்பிள்ளை சம்பா அரிசி இருக்குது அதுக்கப்புறம் இன்னும் என்னென்ன வெரைட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் அரிசி இருக்கும் மேக்ஸிமம் எவ்வளோ ரைஸை வந்து எங்களால் கவர் பண்ண முடியுமோ அந்த ரைசஸ் எல்லாம் கவர் பண்ணி நம்ம டிஸ்பிளேல வச்சுருக்கோம் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி பேம்பூஸில் என்னென்ன இருக்குது அப்படின்னு கார் ஸ்டீரிங்கில் வர்ற கவர்ஸ் வாட்ச் இப்ப இருக்கு கேல்குலேட்டர் ஸ்பெக்ஸ் உங்களுக்கு வந்து பெவரேஜஸ்ல கார்கா யூஸ் பண்றாங்க சில பெவரேஜஸ்லயும் யூஸ் பண்றாங்க அந்த பல்ப்ஸ் எல்லாம் சொல்றாங்க ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி என்னென்னலாம் யூஸ் பண்றோம் நம்மள நம்மளோட லைஃப்ல என்னென்னலாம் பேம்பு யூஸ் ஆகுது அப்படின்னு ஸோ நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி ஸ்பைசஸ்ல என்னென்ன ஸ்பைசஸ் இருக்கு மிளகு சீரகம் எல்லா வெரைட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்பைசஸும் இங்க டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணிருக்கோம் கடுக்காய் இஞ்சி சுக்கு இந்த மாதிரி இதெல்லாம் யூஸ் ஆகுது நார்கோட்டிக்ஸ்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா நார்கோட்டிக்ஸோட பேரே வந்து அந்த ஹெராயின்ங்கிற பேருக்கு எல்லாமே வந்து ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் மீனிங் இருக்க மாதிரி ஆக்சுவலி அதை வந்து ஒரு நார்கோட்டிக்ஸ் எடுத்துக்கும் போது ஒரு பெண்ணுக்கு ஹீரோயின் பிஹேவியர் இருக்கிறதால தான் அது வந்து ஹெராயின் சொல்றாங்க அவங்கள தன்னை மறந்து மயக்க நிலையில இருக்கும்போது தன்னை வந்து ஒரு ஹீரோயினா பிஹேவ் நினைச்சுக்கிறாங்க அப்படிங்கிறதால தான் அதை ஹீரோயின் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க அதே மாதிரி ஒரு மேல் அதை எடுத்துக்கும் போது ஹீரோயிக் பிஹேவியர் அப்படிங்கிறத தான் அதை ஹீரோ ஹெராயின் அப்படின்னு பேர் வந்ததுன்னு கூட ஒரு இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு ஸோ அந்த ஹெராயின்ஸ் பற்றி என்னென்ன டீடைல்ஸ் இருக்கு என்னென்ன லீவ்ஸ்லேருந்து எப்படி எப்படி இருக்கிறாங்க அந்த பாப்பி சீட்ஸ் எப்படி கிடைக்குது அந்த கல்டிவேட் பண்ணுறாங்க இந்த மாதிரி ஹில் ஸ்டேஷன் எல்லாம் அதை வந்து நம்ம வைக்கிறாங்க அப்படிங்கிற டீடைல்ஸ்லாம் இருக்கு ஸோ ஒரு டயராமா ஷோ கேஸ் ஒரு ரப்பர் வந்து இது எல்லாமே இப்படியே இருந்தால் பார்க்குறவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப ஒரு 
என்ன <laughs> 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 ஸோ ஆயில்ஸ் எங் நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி ஆயில்ஸ் எப்படி கிடைக்குது எங்கே எங்கே இந்த இது வருது அப்படிங்கிறது ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஜியாலஜி கேலரி ஜியாலஜி கேலரி தான் ஆக்சுவலி ஃபஸ்ட் ஸ்டார்டட் கேலரி இந்த மியூசியம் வந்து எயிட்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி ஒனில் வந்து இங்கே வந்து க ப்ர மெட்ராஸ் ப்ரெசிடென்சியாக இருக்கும்போது ஒரு பிரிட்ஜ் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் அப்போ வந்து கிடைச்ச ஸ்டோன்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து அவங்களே ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்காங்க ஸோ அந்த ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ண ஸ்டோன்ஸை எப்படி வந்து ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணலாங்கிறதுக்காக சின்னதாக ஆரம்பித்த மியூசியம் தான் இது அதுக்கப்புறம் மல்டி பர்பஸ் மியூசியமாக ஆச்சு இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வந்து ஒரு மினரல் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு ராக்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் நம்ம ஃபஸ்ட்டு எப்படின்னா நம்ம சோலார் சிஸ்டமில் நாம் எங்கே இருக்கும் மில்கிவே கேலக்ஸியில் நம்ம எங்கே இருக்கோம்னு தெரியும் நம்மளோட அட்ரெஸ் மாதிரி ஆக்சுவலி நம்ம எந்த ஸ்ட்ரீட்டில் இருக்கோம்னு தெரிஞ்சுக்கிற மாதிரி மில்கிவே கேலக்ஸியில் எந்த கேலக்ஸியில் நான் இருக்கேன் அப்படிங்கிறது அந்த மாதிரி ஆரம்பிச்சு ஸோ ஒரு வேல்கனிக் எரப்ஷன்லேருந்து வர லாவாலேருந்து வர மினரல்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் அந்த மினரல்ஸே ராக்காக மாறினா என்னென்ன ராக்ஸாக மாறும் ஒரு இக்னியஸ் ராக்காக இருக்கும் அந்த இக்னியஸ் ராக்ஸ் எப்படி டிரான்ஸ்போர்ட்டேஷன் டெபாசிஷன் ஆகி ஒரு செடிமெண்ட்ரி ராக்காக மாறும் அந்த செடிமெண்ட்ரி ராக் எப்படி ஒரு மெட்டா மெட்டமார்ஃபிசம் ஸ்டேட்டுக்கு போய் ஒரு மெட்டமார்ஃபிக் ராக்காக மாறுது அப்படிங்கிற டீட்டெயில்ஸ் எல்லாம் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஸோ இந்த மினரல்ஸ் ராக்ஸில் இக்னியஸ் ராக் செடிமெண்ட்ரி ராக் மெட்டமார்ஃபிக் ராக் இந்த நாலு எது எதுக்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் ஆகுது அப்படிங்கிற டீட்டெயில்ஸ் வச்சுருக்கோம் இது இல்லாமல் வந்து பேலியன்டாலஜின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஒரு ஃபாசில் ஒரு டெட் ரிமைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ பிளான்ட் ஆனிமல் ரெண்டும் எது வேணால் இருக்கலாம் இந்த ரிமைன்ஸை வச்சு நம்ம எப்படி வந்து ஃபாசில் வருது அந்த ஃபாசில் எதுக்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் நம்ம அப்படிங்கிற டீட்டெயில்ஸ் வச்சுருக்கோம் எக்கனாமிக் மினரல் நான் மினரல்னு சொன்னேன் இல்லையா அதில் வந்து எக்கனாமிக் மினரலும் இருக்குது மெட்டாலிக் மினரல் இருக்குது நான் மெட்டாலிக் மினரல் இருக்குது இந்த மினரல்ஸ் எல்லாம் எப்படி வந்து ஒரு வெட்டி எப்படி எடுக்கிறோம் அதை எப்படி எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் பண்ணி தனியாக போயிருக்கிறோம் அது எதுக்கு யூஸ் ஆகுது அதோட எக்கனாமிக் வேல்யூஸ் என்னென்ன அப்படிங்கிறதெல்லாம் வந்து இந்த கேலரியில் நம்ம டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இது வந்து ஒரு வேல்கனிக் எரப்ஷன் நடந்தால் எப்படி இருக்குங்கிற மாதிரி ஒரு மாடல் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஸோ இதுலேருந்து வர ராக்ஸ் தான் இது கோல்டு எப்படி கிடைக்கும் ஒரு ராக்கில் ப்ளூ வாட்ஸோட ஒரு கோல்டு இருந்தால் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு அமெத்திஸ்ட் வந்து இது வந்து ஆக்சுவலி செமி ப்ரெஷியஸ் மினரல் இது இது எப்படி இருக்கும் நேட்டிவ் சில்வர் எப்படி கிடைக்கும் ஒரு குவாட்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஆக்சுவலி குவாட்ஸ் வந்து நிறைய இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங்கான இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் குவாட்ஸ்க்கே இருக்குது நம்ம கையில் கட்டுற வாட்ச் வந்து குவாட்ஸ் இல்லையா அந்த குவாட்ஸ் என்ன எதுக்கு அந்த பேர் வந்ததுன்னா அந்த கண்ணாடி இருக்கு இல்லையா அந்த கண்ணாடியோட பேர் தான் வந்து குவாட்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி அந்த மினரலோட பேர் குவாட்ஸ் பூமியில இரண்டாவது அதிகப்படியா கிடைக்கிற ஒரு கனிமம் தான் இந்த எஸ்ஐ ஓட்டு குவாட்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இந்த குவாட்ஸுக்கு வந்து பீசோ எலக்ட்ரிக் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி இருக்கிறதால தான் டைம் வந்து துல்லியமா காட்டுது இந்த வாட்ச்ல இருக்க ஒரு எனர்ஜியும் நம்மளோட உடம்புல இருக்க ஒரு ஹீட்டும் சேர்ந்து எய்தர் இந்த பேட்டரியோட முள்ள ஃபாஸ்டா சுத்த வைக்கலாம் இல்ல ஸ்லோவா சுத்த வைக்கலாம் இல்ல ஸ்டாப் பண்ணிடலாம் அதெல்லாம் அரெஸ்ட் பண்றதுக்காக தான் நம்ம குவாட்ஸ் கிளாஸ் யூஸ் பண்றோம் ஸோ அதனாலதான் இந்த வாட்ச்க்கு எல்லாம் மோஸ்ட்லி வந்து குவாட்ஸ் வாட்ச் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு பேரு ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி ஒவ்வொரு மினரல்க்கும் ஒரு ஒரு இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் இருக்கு அதே குவாட்ஸ் பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம கம்ப்யூட்டர் சிப்ல யூஸ் பண்றோம் மொபைலோட டிஸ்பிளேல யூஸ் பண்றோம் சிடியில சிடியில எல்லாம் டிஸ்கில வருது இல்லையா அதுல யூஸ் பண்றோம் ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி ஒவ்வொரு இன்ஃபர்மேஷனும் வந்து பப்ளிக் புரியுற மாதிரி நம்ம சொல்றதுக்காகவும் வச்சிருக்கோம் இங்க வந்து மைக்கான்னு ஒரு மினரல் இருக்கு மைக்கா மினரல் பாத்தீங்கன்னா மைக்கா ஷீட்டு தார் பாய்ன்னு சொல்லுவோம் அந்த தார் பாயினா இந்த கல்லு இருந்து இந்த மினரல் இருந்து தான் செய்யறாங்க அது மட்டும் இல்லாம லேடிஸ் யூஸ் பண்ற லிப்ஸ்டிக் நெயில் பாலிஷ் ரூஜ் ஐலைனர் மஸ்காரா இந்த மாதிரி எல்லா பெயிண்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி இல்ல இந்த இந்த கிளிட்ரிங்காக யூஸ் பண்ற மினரல் இதுதான் இது மட்டும் இல்லாம நம்ம பழைய காலத்துல பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு பாட்டு கேட்கிற டேப் இருக்கும் இல்லையா அந்த டேப் வந்து இந்த மினரலான உள்ள இருக்க அந்த பிலிம் வந்து இந்த மினரலான ஆனதுதான் அது மட்டும் இல்லாம கரண்ட் பாஸ் பண்ற வயர்ஸ் இருக்கு இல்லையா ஒரு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் காப்பர் வயர் இருக்கும் அது மேல ஒரு இன்சுலேட்டர் இருக்கும் அது மேல இந்த வயர்ஸ் வந்து இந்த மைக்கா வந்து சுத்தி இருக்கும் ஸோ தட் என்ன ஆகும்னா அது அந்த வயர் மெல்ட் ஆகாம இருக்கிறதுக்கு அந்த பிளாஸ்டிக் மெல்ட் ஆகாம இருக்கிறதுக்கும் நமக்கு கரண்ட் ஷாக் அடிக்காம இருக்கிறதுக்கும் அந்த மைக்காஸ் எல்லாம் நம்ம
என்ன சொல்றது ஒரு வெஜிடேட்டிவ் மேட்டர் வந்து கோலா மாறுறது எவ்வளோ வந்து அந்த வெஜிடேட்டிவ் மேட்டர் வந்து கார்பன் வந்து தருதுன்றது படி பாத்தீங்கன்னா பீட் லிட்மி பீட் லிக்னல் சொல்லுவோம் ஹையஸ்ட் கார்பன் எதுல இருக்கும் அதுதான் நம்ம வந்து யூஸ் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கோம் வச்சுதான் <laughs> நம்ம வந்து பாஸ்ட வந்து ரீக்ரியேட் பண்ண முடியும் இப்ப வந்து அதே மாதிரி அந்த மம்மோத்தை நம்ம கொண்டு வர முடியுமான ஒரு அனாலிசிஸ் பண்றதுக்கு பாசில்ஸ் யூஸ் ஆகுது அது மட்டும் இல்லாம எங்க வந்து டெர்ஷரி ஃபுளோரா அண்ட் ஃபானா கிடைக்குதோ நம்ம அங்கேதான் வந்து ஆயில் ஸ்பில்ஸ் இருக்கும் நம்ம பெட்ரோலியம் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரேஷன் பண்ண முடியும் அந்த டீடைல்ஸ் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்கும் நமக்கு பாசில் யூஸ் ஆகுது ஏஜ் அனாலிசிஸ் பண்றதுக்கு 4.5 பில்லியன் இயர்ஸ்க்கு முன்னாடி நமக்கு अर्थ உருவாச்சுன்னு சொல்றோம் சோ அப்ப வந்து கிடைச்ச வந்து ஜிர்கான் யுரானி அதோட ஹாஃப் லைஃப் பீரியட் இப்ப கிடைக்கிற யுரானியோட ஹாஃப் லைஃப் பீரியட் கால்்குலேட் பண்ணிக்கிறதுக்கு எப்படி யூஸ் ஆகுது இந்த மாதிரி ஏஜ் கால்்குலேஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் நமக்கு நிறைய ஃபாசில்ஸ் யூஸ் ஆகுது அது மட்டும் இல்லாம மெடிசினல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில நிறைய யூஸ் ஆகுது இத்தாலியில பாத்தீங்கன்னா பால்கனிக் எரப்ஷன் எடுக்கிற இடத்துல வந்து ஒரு ஒரு குழந்தையோட பாடி கிடைச்சிருக்கு அந்த பாடி வந்து ஃபுல்லா ஆஷ் ஆஃப் இருக்கும் <laughs> அரியலூர்ல வந்து நிறைய நமக்கு கிடைக்கிறதாலதான் நமக்கு வந்து அங்க வந்து சிமெண்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் வந்து நிறைய இருக்கு ஏன்னா இதோட இருக்கும் <laughs> இது ஒரு மாடல் பண்ணிருக்கோம் எப்படி வந்து ஒரு டைனோசர் வந்து இறந்து கிடந்தா அதை வந்து எப்படி வந்து ஒரு ஜியாலஜிஸ்ட் எப்படி ட்ரேஸ் பண்ணி எடுப்பாங்க அந்த பாசில் அப்படின்னு சொல்றதுக்காக ஒரு மாடல் பண்ணிருக்கோம் ஸோ இது ஒரு ஒரு அமோனாய்ட் இது வந்து ஆக்சுவலி இது வந்து ஃபாசிலான அமோனாய்ட் இது வந்து லைவா இருந்தா எப்படி இருக்குங்கிறதுக்காக ஒரு மாடல் வச்சிருக்கோம் நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஜுவாலஜி மியூசியம்லயே வந்து ரொம்ப சென்னை மியூசியம்ல ரொம்ப வாஸ்டா கவராக இருக்கிறது இந்த கேலரி தான் ஸ்கெலட்டன் கேலரி இருக்கு ஆம்பிபியன் கேலரி இருக்கு பேர்ட்ஸ் இருக்கு கோரல்ஸ் ஃபிஷஸ் ஃபாரின் அனிமல்ஸ் என்னென்ன இருக்கு இன்வெர்டிபிரேட்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கு மேமல்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கு பர்ச்சிங் பேர்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் என்னென்னது ரெப்டைல்ஸ் இந்த மாதிரி எல்லா வெரைட்டிஸும் இருக்கு எக்ஸ்டிங்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் அண்ட் பேர்ட்ஸ் இதெல்லாம் எப்படி இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிறதுக்காக ஒரு ஸ்கெலட்டன் நீங்க வந்து பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் அந்த ஸ்கல்ல வந்து புரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு <laughs> எலிஃபென்ட்ஸோட ஸ்கெலட்டன் வச்சிருக்கோம் இது வந்து ஒரு மேல் எலிஃபென்ட்டோட ஸ்கெலட்டன் இங்கே டிஸ்பிளேக்கு வச்சுருக்கோம் இது வந்து ஒரு ஹார்ஸ்க்கும் ஒரு ஹியூமனுக்கும் இருக்க பேக் போன் எப்படி இருக்கு அதோட ஹைட் என்ன டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் இருக்கு அதோட டோ எப்படி இருக்கும் அதோட ஃபிங்கர்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஜா லைன்ஸ் என்ன டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் இருக்குங்கிறத வந்து 
டிஃப்ரென்ஷியேட் பண்ணுறதுக்காக ஒரு ஹியூமன் பக்கத்துலேயே ஒரு ஹார்ஸோட ஸ்கெலட்டன் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஸோ இது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபீட் ஒரு ப்ளூ வேலோட ஃபுல் ஸ்கெலட்டன் அப்படியே டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணி வச்சுருக்கோம் ஸோ இது வந்து கில்ஸ் வழியாக எப்படி சாப்பிடும் அந்த ப்ரெஷர்ஸ்லாம் எப்படி இருக்கும் இது வந்து மே ஆக்சுவலி மேங்களூர் ஷோரில் எயிட்டீன் செவன்டி ஃபோரில் நமக்கு கிடச்சது அதை வந்து டாக்ஸி டெர்மிஸ்ட் வந்து இதை ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்காங்க நமக்கு ஸோ இங்கே வந்து எல்லா அனிமல்ஸையும் ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு டாக்ஸி டெர்மிஸ்ட்னு ஒருத்தவங்க இருக்காங்க அந்த எம்பார்மிங் மெத்தட்ஸ் மாதிரியே இருக்கும் அந்த மெத்தட்ஸ் யூஸ் பண்ணி அவங்க வந்து உள்ள இருக்க ஃப்ளெஷ்ஷெல்லாம் எடுத்து நமக்கு வந்து ட்ரெயின் பண்ணிவிட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த அனாட்டமி மாறாமல் ஸ்ட்ரிச் பண்ணி வைப்பாங்க அவங்களோட பேர் டாக்ஸி டெர்மிஸ்ட் இது எல்லாமே வந்து அவங்க தான் பண்ணுது இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஆப்ரிக்கன் லயன் எப்படி இருக்கும்னு அந்த அனாட்டமி மாறாமல் ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்காங்கன்னா அது அவங்க தான் பண்ணுறாங்க ஸோ ஒரு டீரோட ஷோகேஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஆன்டிலோப்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் இதில் மேமல் கேலரிஸ் மேமல் கேலரிஸ் எப்படி டிஸ்பிளே இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிறது அதோட ஹேபிடேட் எப்படி இருக்குமோ அதே மாதிரி பின்னாடி வந்து டயக்ராமா போட்டு சம்டைம்ஸ் டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணுவாங்க நிறைய இதில் என்டேஞ்சர்ஸ் பேர்ட்ஸ் அனிமல்ஸ் ஃபிஷர்ஸ் அந்த மாதிரி எல்லாமே கூட டிஸ்பிளேல இருக்கு ஒரு சீட்டா எப்படி இருக்கும் மேம் ஃபாரஸ்ட் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் மேம் சொல்லும் போது செகண்டா நீங்க சொல்ற மாதிரி நிறைய வந்து கிரைம் நடக்குது இந்த மாதிரி அனிமல்ஸ் டிஸ்பிளே எடுத்துட்டு போகிறது தான் அதுல பாத்தீங்கன்னா வந்து நமக்கு வந்து ஆன் ஹீட்டர் வந்து பொதுவாக நிறைய வந்து இங்கேருந்து கடத்தப்படுது அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய அனிமல்ஸ் வந்து பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஸோ அதெல்லாம் ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ண அது எப்படி என்ன ஆன் ஹீட்டர்னா நிறைய பேருக்கு தெரியாமலே இருந்தது ஸோ அந்த நியூஸ் வந்ததுக்கப்புறம் தான் வந்து இங்கே வந்து ஆன் ஹீட்டர்னா என்ன எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு நமக்கு கோவிட் வந்தப்போ கூட ஆன் ஹீட்டர் பற்றி நிறைய தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் இங்கே வந்து ஃப்ரூட் பே பேட்ஸ் இருக்குது இந்த ஃப்ரூட் பேட்ஸ் பற்றி எப்படி என்ன சாப்பிடும் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் மட்டும்தான் சாப்பிடுமா அது எப்படி மைக்ரேட் ஆகும் இதெல்லாம் தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறது கூட மியூசியம் கொண்டாங்க ஸோ இது வந்து பர்ச்சிங் பேர்ட்ஸ் கேலரி என்னென்ன பேர்ட்ஸ் இருக்குது இதில் ஃப்ளைட்லெஸ் பேர்ட் என்ன ஃப்ளைட் பேர்ட் என்னென்ன அப்படிங்கிற டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து காட்டி வச்சுருப்பாங்க அந்த எக்ஸை கூட ஆக்சுவலி வந்து ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணி வைப்பாங்க எப்படி ப்ரிசர்வேஷன் பண்ணணுன்றது இது வந்து எல்லா ஸ்கூல்ஸ் அண்ட் காலேஜ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு கூட தே ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி டேக்கிங் கிளாஸ் எப்படி வந்து இந்த எக்ஸ் எல்லாம் ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணுறது எப்படி டாக்ஸி டென்ஸ் ஒர்க் எப்படி பண்ணுறது அப்படிங்கிறது கூட வி ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி டீச்சிங் இது வந்து ஒரு ஸ்னேக் ஸ்னேக் கேலரியில் என்னென்ன ஸ்னேக்ஸ் இருக்குது அது பாய்சனஸ் ஸ்னேக்ஸ் என்னென்ன நான் பாய்சனஸ் ஸ்னேக்ஸ் என்னென்ன ஒரு ரெப் ஒரு குரோக்கடாயில்னா இருக்குது அந்த குரோக்கடாயில் எப்படி இருக்குது அந்த அப்புறம் ஒரு டேர்டல் எப்படி இருக்குது லெதர் டேர்டல்னா என்ன நார்மல் டேர்டல்னா என்ன எல்லா டிஃப்ரென்சஸுமே இங்கே வச்சுருக்காங்க ஒரிஜினல் லெதர் டேர்டல்ஸ் எல்லாம் அப்படியே ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்காங்க இது வந்து ஒரு கோரல் கேலரி கோரல் கேலரிஸை வந்து ஸ்பிரிட்டில் வந்து எல்லாமே போட்டு நமக்கு வச்சுருக்காங்க எப்படி இருக்குது அந்த கோரல்ஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இது ஃபிஷ் கேலரி ஸ்டார் ஃபிஷ் ரே ஃபிஷ் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய ஃபிஷ் வெரைட்டிஸ் வந்து ஆக்சுவலி இப்போ எக்ஸ்டிங்ட் நமக்கு இல்லை ஸோ அந்த எல்லா ஃபிஷ் வெரைட்டிஸும் இங்கே வந்தால் பார்க்க முடியும் கிராப் கோகோனட் கிராப்னா எப்படி இருக்கும் நார்மல் கிராப் எப்படி இருக்குது ஒரு ஸ்டார் ஃபிஷ் எப்படி இருக்குது ஒரு ரே ஃபிஷ் எப்படி இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிற எல்லா டீட்டெயில்ஸுமே இங்கே வந்து நம்ம பார்க்க முடியும் ஆக்சுவலி ஜுவாலஜி கேலரியை மட்டும் பார்க்குறதுக்கே இட் வில் டேக்ஸ் அட்லீஸ்ட் த்ரீ ஹவர்ஸ் அந்த மாதிரி ஃபுல் டீட்டெயில்ஸும் வந்து நம்மக்கிட்ட இருக்கும் ஷார்க் ஃபிஷ் எப்படி இருக்குது அது எப்படி டிஸ்பிளேல வச்சிருக்காங்க அப்படின்னு ரே ஃபிஷ் சா ஃபிஷ் இந்த மாதிரி அதுக்கப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் கேலரி சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் கேலரி ஆக்சுவலி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மினியேச்சர் ஆஃப் தி ஹோல் மியூசியம் இங்கே வந்து எல்லாமே வந்து குழந்தைங்களுக்கு புரிகிற மாதிரி சின்ன சின்ன குழந்தைங்களுக்கு எப்படி புரியுமோ அந்த மாதிரி வச்சுருப்பாங்க ஒரு நேந்தத்தல் மேன் எப்படி இருந்தான் அவன் என்ன யூஸ் பண்ணான் டூல்ஸ் அப்படிங்கிற பேசிக்லேருந்து ஆரம்பிச்சு சிவிலைசேஷன் ஆரம்பிச்சு அதுக்கப்புறம் சிவிலைஸ்டு ஆனதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன மாதிரி சிவிலைசேஷன் இருந்தது நம்மக்கிட்ட பேபிலோனியா சிவிலைசேஷன் சுமேரியன் அப்புறம் நம்மளோட இண்டஸ் சிவிலைசேஷன் எப்படி இருந்தது நம்மளோட ட்ரைனேஜ் பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் எல்லாம் எப்படி இருந்ததுங்கிற டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் காட்டுறதுக்காகவும் சொல்ல மாதிரி கிட்ஸுக்கு புரிகிற மாதிரியே டிஸ்பிளேஸ் எல்லாம் இங்கே வச்சுருப்பாங்க காஸ்டியூம்ஸ் கேலரின்னு ஒன்று இருக்குது காஸ்டியூமை வச்சு குழந்தைங்களுக்கு எப்படி வந்து ஒரு கல்ச்சரை சொல்கிறது அப்படிங்கிறதுக்காக வச்சுருக்காங்க இந்தியாவில் இருக்க மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டேட்ஸ் இது வச்சுருக்காங்க அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் வேர்ல்டில் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட்டாக இருக்க
ரானா ஹெக்ஸ டெக்டைலா ஒரு ஃப்ராகோட பேர் என்ன அதோட பாஸ் என்ன இன்டர்னலாக எப்படி இருக்கும் ஒரு பேர்டோடது எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படிங்கிற டீட்டெயில்ஸ்லாம் இருக்கும் இது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் டெக்னாலஜி வைஸாக பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஃபஸ்ட்டு ட்ரெயின் எப்போ வந்து நமக்கு விட்டாங்க அது எப்படி வந்து ஒர்க்கிங் கண்டிஷனாக இருந்தது ஒரு ஒரு ட்ரெயின் வந்து எப்படி ஒரு பிரிட்ஜஸில் மூவ் ஆகுது ஒரு சோலார் பேனல் எப்படி ஒர்க் ஆகுது அந்த மாதிரி டீட்டெயில்ஸும் இங்கே வச்சுருக்காங்க ஒரு புள்ளி எப்படி ஒர்க் ஆகுது நிறைய வந்து இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒர்க்கிங் மாடல்ஸ் தான் குழந்தைங்களுக்கு வச்சுருக்காங்க ஒரு புள்ளி எப்படி ஒர்க் ஆகும் ஒரு டிராக்டர் எப்படி ஒரு பட்டன் ஆன் பண்ணால் ஒர்க் ஆகுது ஒரு டீசல் இன்ஜின் எப்படி ஒர்க் ஆகுது ஒரு பெட்ரோல் இன்ஜின் எப்படி ஒர்க் ஆகுது அப்படிங்கிற சின்ன சின்ன விஷயங்களும் குழந்தைங்களுக்கு டீச் பண்ணுற மாதிரி வச்சுருக்காங்க இது வந்து ஒரு ப்ரெஸ்ஸோட மாடல் ஒரு பேப்பர் ப்ரெஸ்ஸோட மாடல் இது எப்படி வந்து இந்த மிஷின் வந்து ஒர்க் ஆகுது அவங்களே கூட வச்சுக்கோங்க அது மட்டும் கிட்ஸ் கார்னர் வந்து இவங்க வந்து வெளியில எப்படி சொல்லலாம் எப்படி இருக்கும் என்ன பண்ணலாம் இது இல்லாம வந்து வந்து சொல்றதுக்காக வச்சிருக்கோம் ஒரு ஜூ மாதிரி நம்ம வந்து எக்ஸ்டிங்க் அனிமல்ஸ் வந்து நமக்கு வந்துட்டு போற மாதிரி ஒரு சின்ன கேலரி வந்து ஆக்மெண்ட்ரியாக வச்சிருக்காங்க ஸோ இது மட்டும் இல்லை ரிசர்ச் ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் இதெல்லாம் பண்ணுறோம் டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ஸில் இருக்குது மியூசியம் நமக்கு இருக்குது எல்லாருக்குமே வந்து ஆக்சுவலி மியூசியம் போய் சேரணுங்கிறதுக்காக நம்ம அப்புறம் வந்து பிரைலி போர்ட்ஸ் வச்சுருக்கோம் அங்கே இங்கே சைனேஜஸ் வச்சுருக்கோம் பப்ளிக் புரிகிற மாதிரி இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் தமிழ் பைலிங் வெல்ல வச்சுருக்கோம் அப்புறம் வந்து ஃபிசிக்கலி சேலஞ்சர் வர என்ன சொல்கிறது விஷுவலி இம்பேக்ட் அவங்களுக்கெல்லாம் என்னென்ன பண்ணணுமோ எல்லாம் வச்சுக்கோ ஒரு வீல் சேர் ப்ரொவிஷன்ஸ் இருக்குது நம்ம எப்படி எல்லா கேலரிஸ் போய் பார்க்கணும் அப்படிங்கிற எல்லா டீட்டெயில்ஸும் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஸோ தட் சால் சார் தேங்க் யூ மேடம் ஃபார் யுவர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் லாப்ரேட் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் ஆன் தி ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் அவைலபிள் அட் கவர்மெண்ட் மியூசியம் மை ப்ளஷர் டு இன்வைட் டாக்டர் ஆர் சிவராமன் அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் டிஜி வைஷ்ணவ் காலேஜ் ஹிஸ் ஏரியா ஆஃப் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இஸ் இன் நம்பர் தியரி மேத்தமெட்டிக்கல் அனாலிசிஸ் அண்ட் அப்ளைடு மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் பப்ளிஷ்டு ஓர் இன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ரிசர்ச் பேப்பர்ஸ் இன் நேஷனல் இன்டர்நேஷனல் ஜேர்னல்ஸ் ப்ரொவைடட் செவரல் பிளனரி அண்ட் இன்வைட்டட் டாக்ஸ் அட் நேஷனல் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் கான்ஃபரன்சஸ் கைடட் செவன் எம்ஃபில் டிகிரி ஸ்காலர்ஸ் அண்ட் கைடிங் சிக்ஸ் பிஹெச்டி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ரெவியூவர் அண்ட் மெம்பர் ஆஃப் எடிட்டோரியல் போர்ட் ஃபார் சேர்ல் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ஜேர்னல்ஸ் அண்ட் நேஷ்னல் ஜேர்னல்ஸ் ஹி ஹஸ் ரிசீவ் தி அவார்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஃபார் பாப்புலரைசேஷன் ஃப்ரம் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தமிழ் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா டிஎஸ்டி இன் த இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஃபார் வாட் ஆஃப் டைம் ஐ எம் ரெஸ்ட்ரிக்டிங் மை செல்ஃப் இஸ் பயாலாட்டி இஸ் வெரி எலாபரேட் ஹி ஹஸ் ப்ரெசன்டட் லாட் ஆஃப் ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் ஹி ஹஸ் ரிசீவ்ட் நம்பர் ஆஃப் அவார்ட்ஸ் மோர் தென் செவன்டி நம்பர் மெம்பர் ஆஃப் செவரல் scientific societies contributed to magazines and newspapers also it is our pleasure to invite dr r sivaraman um, to make a presentation on science popularization particularly in the subject of mathematics i once again remind you about the timeline sir this is our constraint thank you thank you thanks for the introduction i think uh, without wasting much time no more time i can share my screen and stop please sir the screen visible sir ah, it is coming up sir the screen visible it, it is coming up it is coming up okay yeah it has come up now shall i continue sir please please proceed sir so thanks for giving this wonderful opportunity uh, the probably i am the one who sort man out in this uh, whole group because uh, i was thinking that i should present something kind of a lecture to popularize but uh, people here being directors and uh, officials at various departments of uh, science and technology were presenting their uh, institutes uh, finding but i am founder of pi mathematics association uh, which is an organization for popularizing mathematics uh, in india of course not in things and i 
with the help of my old students and other uh, friends and associates, I began this uh, association in the year 2007. Now we are going to complete almost 15 years of existence. And we are doing so many outreach programs and reaching so many poor people. Every year we pay fee for them uh, by providing educational scholarships amounting to roughly 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs, which is not a big amount uh, considering the government sources, but uh, this is purely voluntary organization. We run the organization by uh, pure donations and there is not much help that we get usually from other sources. And we had published 18 books so far uh, in the past years and all the books were available. But uh, unfortunately, as I told you, I have not because I do not know what is to be done here in this uh, meeting. So what I have done is uh, taking some kind of presentation to make you. So I will finish my presentation and then the end of the lecture, probably I will just mention a few things about what we did principally. Uh, so I love Pythagoras because he was the one who actually connected numbers with geometry. I, being a professor of mathematics, I always believe that teaching effectively is the main cause for making children happy, feel happy about mathematics. Because very often we find that uh, whenever children does mathematics, they see the subject only as manipulating something like calculations and equations and solving something and seeking solutions and something like that. I mean, it is something like solving a given problem and getting the answer. That is all. And mathematics is much, much, much more than what is done in the school curriculum and college curriculum, in fact. So it answers from very, very micro level from DNA structures to from subatomic particles to macro structures like uh, giant uh, black holes and something like that. So today mathematics is used in almost all disciplines of science and technology. But in those days when uh, uh, say talking about uh, two millennia ago or even before that, it was not so much developed as what we know today. But still people like Pythagoras and uh, several Indian mathematicians and Chinese mathematicians and Greek mathematicians who are the pillars of developing pure mathematics were doing extraordinary work. In fact, when Samudraj Pramal, sir, director of uh, Real Science and Technology Center was speaking about how could you measure. Uh, in fact, it was uh, one of the mathematicians in Greek times, uh, Eratosthenes, who was principally involved using basic geometry. I was so much. Uh, fascinated by those simple calculations from basic geometry, which we usually do in at high school level. Uh, in fact, the mathematicians like Thales, Euxodus, uh, Pythagoras, and other people used very simple properties from geometries and had explored so many things in the universe, not today, but some 2000 years ago, which is quite astonishing to even think of that way. So now what I do is, uh, I will introduce this kind of shapes now. Now, Pyth Pythagoras has a good followers to him and they are called Pythagoreans. The followers of Pythagoras were called Pythagoreans. And uh, people, my some of my friends staying in Italy, even today in this island of Sicily, say that there are still such people, such group of sect of people exist, Pythagoreans who were considered to be followers of Pythagoras. And there's a big statue of Pythagoras situated near the entrance of Sicily Island at Italy. So such kind of uh, uh, significance is carrying out in science uh, investigations. And uh, see, there are some numbers which are very special. For example, uh, you, you can arrange this numbers like 1, 3, like 3 can be arranged in triangular form, 1 dot above and 2 dots below. 6 can be arranged in 3 layers, 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. So this numbers here, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 are basically called triangular numbers. So uh, the Pythagoreans were the first set of people who to connect geometrical shapes with numbers. Now this idea has been fascinating right from my young age, my research areas number three. I was so fascinated to see how numbers got into shape like this. Now, because we love shapes, we all see shapes all around us right from the young age. Uh, when we were very small child, we see shapes too and uh, smile at it. And toys are very kind of nice shapes that we love to see both color as well as the size of the, the, the make of the shape of these toy. Especially when the toy is a round toy like ball, 
uh, young child will like more rather than an irregular shape. OK, so. The the color composition, the material composition, as well as the the shape also determines the happiness of a child right from young age. In that aspect, I see that uh, studying numbers through shapes like this is a fascinating idea, and this could be done in the curriculum also. So this is one of the very first thing to popularize mathematics. And uh, you see, uh, I get a square shape from the triangular numbers. Like I take uh, three here and six here. Three and six are triangular numbers as we have seen. You, you, so the consecutive sum of consecutive triangular numbers is a square number because if you see, if you add three and six, you get nine. If you add six and ten, you get sixteen. That is four square. Ten and fifteen adds up to twenty-five. That is five square, and that is geometrically described here. This is three plus six. You put one plus two plus three dots here and invert the other three dots. So now this three layers forms six, and this two layers form three. So three plus six is nine. That that forms a very nice uh, three by three square, which amounts to nine dots. So you get a square shape. Similarly, uh, there are six dots here, and there are uh, there are six dots inverted here, and there are ten dots here. So six plus ten is sixteen. That is four square. And there are 10 here and 15 here that adds up to 25, which is 5 square and so on. So this is the other thing that we learn in school level. 1 plus 3, sum of consecutive odd numbers is a square number. 1 is simply 1 square. 1 plus 3 is 4, that is 2 square. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is uh, 3 square. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, that is uh, 4 square and so on. So sum of consecutive odd numbers is a square number that is described in this pattern. So studying ideas through patterns and geometric shapes is a quite interesting thing that uh, that makes children love the subject. Now, one thing that I have to mention you know, the very basic formula that we learn in school level, especially at ninth or tenth level, is sum of first n natural numbers is n times n plus one by two. And this quantity n times n plus one by two is called the nth triangular number that is denoted by t suffix n. So T for triangular number and triangular numbers I sh have shown in the previous slide to you because they are in, they form triangular shapes when arranged in that pattern. So uh, this is a visual proof of proving showing that the sum of first n natural numbers like one plus two plus three up to n is n into n plus one by two. Uh, let me just explain. I take a triangular number like one plus two plus three plus four up to n here. And I take another copy of it and just invert it, just make it upside down. So this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to n. So this 1 up to n and the other 1, 1 to n, keeping upside down, forms a big rectangular grid of uh, size n plus 1 by n. So the length is n plus 1, breadth is n, as you can see. So this two copies of 1 plus 2 plus up to n gives us a nice rectangle of dimension n plus 1 by n and therefore two copies of tn gives me an area of a rectangle which is length times breadth that is n into n plus 1 and therefore tn which is 1 plus 2 plus n one of the copies half of it which is uh, n into n plus 1 by 2 just a one liner proof will be sufficient to show why sum of first n natural numbers is this quantity and this is another thing that I have, I love so much. I mean, all these things were done through the usage of triangular numbers. This is T4. Uh, you can see here, uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, T5 minus T4. I'm subtracting the fourth triangular number from the fifth triangular number. Only the last layer will remain here because this portion will cancel with this portion upon subtraction. So what will remain is simply the last row containing this five dots here. So in general, if you subtract k minus first uh, triangular number from the kth triangular number, what will remain is simply the last layer containing k dots. So you get k. And uh, if you add, as I just showed you, if you add uh, a triangular number to the previous triangular number, you get a square number, which I showed in the first slide. So keeping this information in mind and this equation in mind, I now derive the formula for sum of cubes. So first observe that k cube is k times k square. 
Okay, for this particular k, you write t k minus t k minus one, and for this k square, you write t k plus t k plus one, and this is now the form a minus b times a plus b, which is a square minus b square, and therefore summing k q from k one to n is summing this expression t k square minus t k minus one square from k one to n, and so the if you add actually add only two terms will remain, the other terms will keep on cancelling one another. Only two terms will remain because uh, this is this type of summation is called telescopic summation. Only the first term and the last term will remain. And Tn is I know by previous calculation is Tn square. And for k is n, you get Tn square. And uh, for k is one here, you get T naught square. Only these two terms will remain after cancellation. T naught is zero because Tn is n into n plus one by two, so T naught is zero. And therefore, what will remain is t n square, which is n into n plus one by two, the whole square. And we know, in fact, the sum of first n cubes is uh, n into n plus one by two, the whole square. So, very simple illustration through geometry will help us to derive all these formulas in very quick time. So, this is uh, one of the things that is missing in present curriculum, and uh, people used to do so much things mechanically without realizing the beauty and hidden structure of the equations that were formed. And I leave this as, uh, I mean, I was told that some, many students were attending this. So for, for students or research scholars or uh, any college uh, people, you can try this. There are some hidden patterns in this, uh, I mean, diagrams. You can determine them. I'm not going to do it. So these two pictures shown here has some equations embedded in them. You locate, try to locate it yourself. I'm not going to mention and coming to prime numbers. See, prime numbers plays a pivotal role, not only in mathematics, but uh, from mathematics, it has transcended to modern technology. I mean, if you if you talk about security in the current technology, you have to rely upon prime numbers. Prime numbers plays a huge role in the security of the system, current system that we are using, right from uh, using a credit card or a debit card or making some password transactions, e-transactions, whatever you talk about in ATM transactions. If you if you need a OTP, there's a big mathematics behind it. And uh, I mean, forming an ISBN code or ISSN code for journals and everything that you talk about, whichever comes as a code form or the alternate form of numbers and numbers basically depends on prime numbers. So everything boils down to prime numbers. So prime numbers are very, very, very significant in the understanding of uh, e-transactions and e-digital uh, digital world that we are experiencing today, especially in this pandemic situation. And it is quite interesting that uh, till now we don't have, we have not understood prime numbers completely. No one can say, no mathematician has succeeded completely in understanding the structure of prime numbers. And that is still the unsolved problem that we are facing and huge amount of research we are going on on the study to understand the patterns in primes and uh, many mathematicians have given wonderful ideas. I will share a few things to you. And this is the, this are the picture that I show to students to understand the idea of prime numbers. Now, usually we do this in schools by defining that prime numbers are the one which has exactly two devices and all those things. I mean, we always study through definitions and formulas and equations okay but we have to come out of those things to, if at all we have to enjoy the subject and make it uh, very interesting to others also to understand thing only then you become a quite an expert in that and do active research in that particular area in future now uh, if you take if you ask me give a number four to me and i, I will ask a child to arrange it all, in all possible rectangular form Either the child can arrange in four columns like this, uh, in a single column with four rows, or four columns in a single row like this, either this line vertically or horizontally, or two by two grid form, two above and two below. So these are the possible three things, three ways that a child can arrange four objects. So keep them, uh, treat the numbers as objects and ask them to arrange in a rectangular form, either in a horizontal way or in a vertical way or in a, some kind of way that, but it should be a rectangular arrangement. So ask them to make a rectangular arrangement. You see that there are three possible arrangements for four objects and therefore four has three devices. Whereas if you want to do that for two objects, there are only two possible arrangements. You have only 
either a vertical arrangement or a horizontal arrangement. Similarly, for three, you have either a vertical arrangement or a horizontal arrangement. When uh, three rows with a single column or one row with three columns, only this is possible. But for numbers like four, there are more than one row and one column. Therefore, you get a proper rectangle in that case. Okay. And for one, you have only one option. So what you I mean I mean doing this kind of arrangement not only shows the patterns in the numbers but it also counts the number of devices that is very surprising you see there are two possible arrangements for two indicating that two has only two devices there are two possible arrangements for three indicating there are only two possible devices for three whereas there are uh, three possible devices for four upon this arrangement. Similarly, there are only two possible arrangements for five. There are two possible uh, arrangements for seven. And now if you arrange six, if you ask a child to arrange six, they can either arrange horizontally or vertically, horizontal arrangement or vertical arrangement, or uh, three rows and put two in each row, or uh, put three in each row and make two rows. So either three by two or two by three, whatever it is. So you get a proper rectangle arrangement, but uh, this amounts to a total of four possible arrangements and therefore six has four devices. Similarly, if you ask a child to arrange eight, eight again has four arrangements and therefore eight has four possible devices. Eight has four devices, six has four. So counting the number of devices through arrangement of objects through rectangular pattern is one of beautiful thing. And children love to do such uh, things in their, because their mind is tuned to shapes and arrangements and kind of puzzle solving techniques. Especially young children love to do this way. And in this way, this kind of activity will enrich students to indirectly count the number of devices also. Because the number of such possible arrangements indirectly provides the number of devices for that many objects that were considered. So. The numbers 5 and 7 has only two arrangements. Therefore, 5 and 7 has two devices only. Similarly, so I have shown this uh, two arrangement objects in green color and precisely those uh, num uh, objects which has only two possible arrangements given in green color are precisely the numbers called prime numbers. And the, the other things which has more than two arrangements were called uh, composite numbers. So you can, teachers can teach the, the structure of prime numbers and non prime numbers, which are composites or one. Say one, of course, has only one possible arrangement, not more than two. Therefore, one is a very special number. It is neither a prime number nor a composite number because for getting a composite number, either the row or column should be more than one. At least one of the arrangements should be more than one. But here, uh, both are one. Therefore, one is neither a prime nor a composite. So, this kind of uh, concepts that we often teach in uh, curriculum and we thought like this. The other uh, thing that I love most, this kind of patterns that exist in prime numbers where this like uh, you, you start with uh, a one here in the middle portion and then wind up counterclockwise direction like a spiral. You go in a spiral fashion in counterclockwise direction beginning with one, then two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen and go on. Keep on going until 400 we have done here, okay, 400. So if you keep on doing this arrangement, you and mark uh, things which are prime numbers in red shape, uh, red colored cells. So the red color cells are all prime numbers here. And if, so if you plot prime numbered cells or uh, those are numbers in red color here, you get some pattern. I mean, this pattern was first observed by US mathematician uh, Eulen. So this is called Eulen spiral. Okay, and uh, he was so fascinated to know that uh, note that uh, the prime numbers arranged in a particular diagonal fashion. Not very zigzag, but you see all these prime numbers aligned in a particular fashion. In fact, there is a nice parabola that you can construct among these prime numbers. Okay, these prime numbers fit into a nice parabola. If you take some few of primes from this portion and you can plot them in a graph to plot a parabola. And in fact, they, they align most of the prime numbers align in a particular diagonal. So, for example, this diagonal contains so many prime numbers. This diagonal contains so many prime numbers. Is there any pattern behind it? But obviously, in, in smaller scales, primes behave very well. But in larger scales, this kind of basic patterns will destroy. 
So there is a big challenge in prime numbers and huge research, as I told before, we're going on to understand the structure of prime numbers in a larger scale, not in a smaller scale. And this uh, is one of my very beautiful thing that I love most because this was discovered by Indian mathematician who lived at Chennai. Uh, he, that mathematician was called Sundaram. In 1934, he gave this uh, tabular column. Uh, not many knew about this, so it's worth mentioning here. Um, the, the importance of this tabular column is that if you take any number here, say for example, uh, there is a number uh, here like uh, if I take 22, 22 is present here. If I note any number in this table, not all the numbers were represented here. Like the numbers 1 is not here, 2 is not here, 3 is not here, 5 is not here. Some numbers are missing, some numbers are present. So if you take any number in the table, like 22 for example, what you do is you multiply that number by 2 and add 1 to it. So, because uh, by this rule, if I take 22, multiplying by 2, you get 44, and then adding 1 to it, you get 45. You note that 45 is a composite number. It's not a prime number. Whereas, if you take any number which is not in the table, for example, 6 is not in the table. If I take 6 and do the same operation, multiply by 2 and add 1 to it, 6 times 2 is 12, and adding 1 to it, you get 13. 13 is a prime number. So, what Sundaram said was, if you take any number from the table and multiply by 2 and add 1 to it, you always get a composite number. Whereas if you take any number not from the table and then multiply by 2 and add 1 to it, you always get a prime number. This is very, very interesting. You can verify yourself. I was so wondering uh, when I saw this first time. In fact, I, 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 was, I was trying to prove this. In fact, with some effort, I could do that. But I leave this as an exercise to interested people to know why see for themselves why this happens but uh, we have to give a big thumbs up for uh, mathematician sundaram for discovering this beautiful idea okay. and uh, not in much uh, we know about indian contribution that is one of the things that is we have to address actually okay and um, the greatest unsolved problem in mathematics all of mathematics is is about prime numbers in fact, it's called Riemann's hypothesis, named after German mathematician Riemann, Bernard Riemann. It talks about the location of zeros in the Riemann zeta function. So I'm not going into much details about it, but it's related to the deeper structure of analytic number theory. So I'm not going to do that. But you see the pattern here. What Riemann said was all the zeros of some function that some some tool, what you call, lie always lies in this particular line. Okay. So you see this vertical line here. So he was uh, saying that whatever zeros that you take always lies in this line. And no one so far has either proved it nor disproved it. Neither we could prove it nor we could disprove it. Disproving is finding a zero which is apart from this particular vertical line. No one has found any zero. In fact, people had uh, discovered nearly 30 billion zeros using supercomputers till now. and Interestingly enough, all those zeros were predictably lying on the line as uh, what Riemann said. As Riemann predicted, all those 30 billion zeros or something were all exactly fitting on the line, this vertical line S is equal to half. So that is, but uh, no one could, uh, but that is not a proof. Computer aided the calculations cannot be counted as a proof because it might even get lost after that uh, existing limit. Okay, we can't take it as a proof, though there are some proofs like four color problem and other things that come out with computer aided proofs, but this is not to be taken that case and that is just a verification. So the people were trying, mathematicians were trying to understand the secret of primes as hard as possible. And I can say to anyone that uh, any particularly young student who's attending this program, that if you can try to prove this particular result, it not only you get world fame instantly, but you were given more than 1 million US dollars of prize money from uh, uh, IMU, International Mathematical Union, and other organizations throughout the world. And you, you will be given Fields Medal also because this is the holy grail in mathematics that we, we seek. And if you ask any active mathematician what's your dream of doing something, they will be saying that I need to prove Riemann hypothesis. So this, this kind of importance is what this. And I, I for students sake, I leave this as a puzzle. I post this in our Facebook page today morning. This is one of my very favorite picture puzzle. 
post by Japanese uh, mathematician and toy maker who gave this. This is very cunning, actually, very clever person. Not so easy, but not so hard also. If you just think carefully, you have to find the missing number here. And I've always used to uh, make children happy by whenever I go to class by seeing the dates. So today being 7th February, 7th February is actually birth date of G.H. Hardy. Today is 145th birthday of G.H. Hardy. And I also saw the curiosity that 145 the sum of the digit factorials of itself. That is 145 is 1 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial. 1 factorial is 1, 4 factorial is product of first 4 numbers, which is 24, and 5 factorial is product of first 5 numbers, which is 120. So if you add them, you get 1 plus 24 plus 120, which adds up to the same number 145. In fact, there are only 4 such numbers in all of the numbers that we know satisfying this property. And G.H. Hardy said about mathematics like this. There is no permanent place in the world for ugly mathematics. Beauty is the first test. Mathematics patterns like the painters or the poets must be beautiful because the ideas like the colors or the words must fit together in a harmonious way. And all these words and sentences were found in the book, beautiful book written by uh, Hardy himself. Hardy has written so many wonderful books on mathematics. And uh, this book was a classic. Those who find time and uh, chance to, I mean, even a PDF is available in the net. Uh, recently, I saw that facility. So, if you have a chance to get a book, you buy it and read. Um, I mean, Mathematicians Apology is a classic book for anyone who have to know why mathematics is very special in science because uh, it was Gauss who was considered one of the great mathematicians of all time mentioned that mathematics is queen of all sciences. And number theory is queen of all mathematics. So uh, mathematics actually, as I said before, helps you to understand the structure of the universe so much. Now, before I conclude, uh, this is what the presentation part I was keeping ready for the 15 minutes or so that was given previously. And I saw two curiosities. 15 minutes that is allotted to us has this pattern. To add 1 to 5, you get 15. 1 plus 2 plus up to 5, you get 15. So, yes, you can easily say the answer. And today being 7th February, if you take the number 2 and 7, if you add 2 to 7, you get 27. So, not only the timing, but also the date. These two numbers are the only two-digit numbers satisfying this property. So, there are literally several ways that you can play with numbers like what I said. And there's no end to it. I mean, there are numerous properties that numbers possess. And this kind of numerical curiosities with many children, young children particularly, very, very happy, giving nice problems to them, asking them to read good books and historical things that we can tell. For example, when we, when we teach about an equation, why the name equation has come, like uh, Nalakshmi Madam was saying previously, that all the terms that they used in the museum were some hidden meaning behind it in the museum. They have some good stories associated. Even in mathematics, you have nice stories in most of the cases associated with the terminologies that we use. But unfortunately, we are not aware of such things. And the, the other important aspect is to see how mathematics is widely applied in almost all fields of science and technology. If you are a person to need to apply such things, you have to do that. And those who are, want to know about our contribution personally in the Mathematics Association, unfortunately, I told you I have not have any pictures to show. You can go to our website, Pi Mathematics Association. There is a lot of information about what we have done. There are so many pictures. There are so many the book details were given there, and there were a YouTube channel also about what we have done. We have uploaded pictures uh, from various mathematicians, like George Andrews recently gave a lecture. Uh, Bruce Bond has given a lecture last year and we celebrated. Uh, our, I mean, most of the big mathematicians were well known to us and they help us quite a lot in popularizing mathematics. With a few words, I and we have also developed a, a mathematical model. So, those who want to know about modeling models, especially for school children, we can help them out. With a few words, I thank everyone at uh, TNCT and DST for providing this wonderful opportunity to share what little I know with you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for your excellent and uh, beautiful presentation about the, you know, the world of mathematics. Um, I have, I think I have not taken much time. Yes, Professor, you are. 
Uh, Being mathematician, I should be somewhat yes, precise. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. And I'm sure all the children and uh, the research scholars and all the people who have researched to you are excited uh, as uh, as you are. And thank you, sir. I, I, I'll be... Um, um, uh, thank you very much once again. And now I would like to invite Dr. C. Sandugam um, um, uh, to present, uh, make a presentation on um, science communication uh, through experiments. Uh, I will introduce him very briefly for a want of time. He's a... Um, Postgraduate in uh, chemistry from so another. Those who wish to know about our books can go to website and just look at it. Definitely, yes. Professor. My Mathematics Association. Yes, Thank Professor. Yes. I invite all the people, uh, interested people, to visit the website and uh, get to know more about uh, mathematics and its beauty. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Sandhugam is an MSc uh, chemistry and PhD 2018 from Anna University. Uh, he started his career in the Indian Overseas Bank and then because of his interest he has started conducting a lot of uh, science quiz programs in, uh, in colleges and schools, uh, given more than 30 talks in All India Radio Chennai on various science topics, conducted a lot of uh, telecasts in science through Thurdarshan Gendra under the title Arivuka Ayiram Kangal and uh, conducting a lot of uh, quiz programs and served as judge judge in the many occasions and published uh, several articles and newspapers and magazines and research uh, papers also. Membership uh, in various uh, societies and professional bodies uh, involved in science and science popularization. I invite Dr. C. Sandhugam to make a presentation uh, on science communication. Dr. Sandhugam, please. Am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. You can proceed. Okay. Okay. Uh, before I begin my presentation, I would like to offer my humble pronouns and salutations to my school days chemistry master, Mr. Vangadesan. Respected organizers of this Vijnan Utsav, the DST, TNSEST, dignitaries, expert members, and those who are watching this program live through the web. To all of you, a pleasant good afternoon. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to share my thoughts with all of you. The title assigned to me is Science Communication and Popularization Through Experiments, which means it is an indication to me, don't talk too much but go and show something. But anyway, I have few slides only, not very much. Just want to show or just want to share some ideas about science communication, why it is, to whom it is, all those things. Few slides only. After that, I'll be shifting to showing the demonstrations. I hope I'll be given some extra time for that. So first of all, science is what? Science is, it, it involves basically doing something because this is one area, one subject, which is quite different from the other. Because apart from teaching and learning, there is something which you have to prove. So experimentation is an important part in science. So science basically involves doing. It can be properly understood only when we do science. It's very aptly described by a Chinese proverb, which says, 
I read, I forget. Yes, we read a lot. And as soon as we finish reading and the contents go off, we forget also. But when we see, of course, we remember that too is not permanent. If there is a sufficient long gap, sometimes we tend to forget also. We don't remember also. Many of us would have had this experience. Suppose if you happen to see our distant relative or somebody who's known to us. Sorry, uh, I remember to have seen you sometime, but I'm sorry, I could not recollect. This sort of experience we would have got. But the point, the last point is I do, I understand. Because this is the unique aspect because when we do, this becomes our own personal experience. Therefore, we cannot forget it. So this important aspect is there in science. Even a simple experiment can be an eye opener. For example, the idea of gravitation, it surprises at Newton's mind. For an apple, fell on his head, you know, the story we know. Then like Archimedes, he had a problem. When he was taking bath in the bathtub, suddenly he got the idea and ran along the street shouting, Reka, Reka, that's what also we know. Charles Darwin's thinking of the theory of evolution was the result of very careful, meticulous observation of the plants and animals that he collected, including shells and fossils. So these pioneers were all amateurs. We have to remember in those days, they did not have sophisticated laboratory facilities like what we have today. Even textbooks also they did not have. In fact, what they found out comes in the textbook today. So they had no elaborate apparatus to work with and no textbooks either. That's the way science began. So one must begin at the beginning if one wants to understand. Here again, the role of teachers is very, very important because they are going to convey the message to the students, how they must behave or how, what is the role played by the teachers in the classroom. For that, I just want to give two instances. The 13th century chemical text, Rasendra Chintamani, written by Ramachandra. It says, those are to be regarded as real teachers who can verify by experiments what they teach. It is not only teaching, conveying the message. It's not sufficient. Prove it. Prove it. In fact, uh, this is another important message given by none other than the famous scientist Michael Faraday. Wonderful are the capacities of experiments to lead us into various departments of knowledge. In fact, uh, the pedagogy, the psychology says, as far as teachers are concerned, they are not supposed to reveal the answer state. The teacher must act as a facilitator only. You allow the children to find out the answers by themselves. You guide them properly, channelize, channel them. So don't tell the answer straight away. That is the idea normally suggested to teachers. Because the moment you tell the answer straight away, okay, I know that. They tend to forget it. But only when they involve themselves to find out the answers, it becomes their own personal experience which they cannot forget. So in fact, experiments are the backbone of science. Scientific facts are best conveyed by experimental demonstrations. All right. To whom I should communicate? Of course, though science communication is meant for everybody, primarily, obviously, and mainly, I feel the younger generation because they are the future of India and for self-reliant India also. Catch them young is a saying in English. The meaning of that aptly fits in this context. Why to communicate and popularize science? This is also known to everybody. In my opinion, there are two things, two purposes. One which I would like to share right now Probably the second one at the end of my lecture. Yes, this is known to everybody. To drive away the superstitious beliefs and dogmas that still persist in the society, which impede the progress of a nation, despite the tremendous advancements in science and technology. 
So for this purpose, the science communication and popularization is essential. How to communicate and popularize science. And here comes the theme of my presentation. There are two ways of doing these experiments. One is the conventional way. The other one is doing it in a different way. The conventional approach is readily available in the textbooks. Nothing wrong in it. Absolutely fine. But the question is whether it can raise the curiosity in the minds of the youngsters. That's the question. The do it in a different approach certainly raises curiosity among the youngsters, especially if done something like a magic. If possible, you can infuse a playway method, a fun component. It should appear like a magic or miracle or something like that. Then they love it. So thing is, don't project science in the beginning itself. First, the component of magic or miracle or fun or playway method, you project it first. Then come to science, they will understand. I am showing a picture now. Can anybody guess who this person is? Give a clue. He is a Nobel laureate. Twice he received a Nobel Prize. One in chemistry. The second one for international peace promotion. I hope by now the viewers would have guessed. He is the famous Linus Pauling. Who gave the theory of chemical bond. How the atoms combine and form molecules. Why I am showing this picture? The point is, I just now told you, curiosity plays a major role. When he was a schoolboy in the American school, his chemistry master one day demonstrated a simple experiment. It's nothing but the hygroscopic action of concentrated sulfuric acid. Today we know that. The usual experiment is take some sugar, add concentrated sulfuric acid to that, stir it, very soon the color becomes something like yellowish and finally it chars. And along that procedure, when this is done, when this was done in the classroom, this young Linus Pauling was watching it and he saw a black colored pillar rising up. That was something magic to him. For a young boy, it was like a magic that attracted him very much. So he decided to have the career in chemistry. Today, this might seem to be a very simple demonstration. Not what all the hygroscopic action of sulfuric acid is known to everybody. But remember, when this is given to a small boy, that is very, very important to whom it is given. So in the young mind, in the young mind, if you sow the sea of curiosity, that takes care of. So that is the point which I want to mention here. So once curiosity is raised, the teacher need not struggle too much. It's self-sustaining. And the students won't remain calm unless and until they get the answer. Because in, in the movie, there was a dialogue. That attitude will come. So even if you take two hours to explain the concept, they will patiently listen to you. So in fact, this approach conserves time and energy of the teacher very much and ensures higher level of grasping capacity among the students. Of course, the final task for the teacher is to make the student understand that the scientific principle behind both approaches is one and the same. And the student understands it very easily because he has understood the concept. Now the task before me is to prove what I say. Let me perform two experiments, one in physics and one in chemistry. So, so let me stop now. And uh, let me show this action. Sir, is the screen visible?
the webex page has come in process it is sir, sir is my is it is am i am i visible uh, yes the screen is there but the webex page has come okay. it's asking for a sign in okay i'm a sign in now i don't know i mean you want to add some video to this or what no, i want to uh, i want to show the uh, video yes share screen le Ah, uh, Gomadi, can you help uh, Professor with the video? Uh, <coughs> Hello. Sir, is my voice audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or, hello, sir. Listen, guys. Ah, is it my pressure? Oh, I am going to marry under the pillow. என்னுடைய வீடியோ வரலையே இல்ல நான் பவர் பாயிண்ட் இப்ப க்ளோஸ் பண்ணிட்டு நான் ஆக்சுவலா ஸ்கிரீன்ல வரணும் நான் பேசுறேன் சோ ஓகே ஸ்டாப் ஷேரிங் குடுத்துட போதுமா ஓகே ஓகே அப்போ நான் இப்ப தெரியுறேனா ஓகே தென் இட் இஸ் ஓகே எனக்கு எனக்கு இங்க தெரியல அதனால தான் If you are able to see me, that's okay, fine. Hey. 
<clears throat> and actually, I should also see myself. I should because what I am doing, I should know. Uh, okay. Can you see this beaker? Hello. Actually, now our main screen is not working. Ah, our our punch is not working. Okay. 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 Professor, you are doing it by yourself or you want to play some video? No, no, it's not video. I want to show it in action. Okay. Our main screen is going to be on the screen. Do you want to see it? No, it's going to be on the screen. Sir, you can continue, sir. You can proceed. Because I don't have a video, sir. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. आह उनका सेटिंग्स में आप बाकी लोग रहेंगे। ओके। सरी ओके ओके। तो आप एबल टू सी द बीकर? हाँ पर नहीं ये पढ़ने का प्रोसेसर। ओके। ये वाला मैं इधर मेन स्क्रीन को डोर करना है। मूड टू स्टेज इन बनी लमा। और तो नहीं। सर यू गाइड मी? हाँ यस प्रोसेसर। लेट मी लेट मी चेक। आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी कैन सी द बीक yeah, we are seeing a beaker with a... Uh, it's uh, colorless solution. It water. is something like... It looks like yes. water, okay? And a stirrer, yes, yes. 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 And I am going to introduce uh. two carbon rods as electrodes. Yes. Okay. So let me pass current. Okay. And something will take place. So you can see right now, of course, I'm not seeing this uh, screen, but I can see. I think you can see the violet color. Pink yes, color violet color is coming up. up. Yes, brother. Okay, let it go. In the meantime, to conserve time, let me switch over to some physics demonstration. Yeah. We'll finish it and come back and see. Yeah, let it go on. Let this go on, and I'm switching. अच्छा नहीं ये बोले अल्लाह दायिल तो आएंगे ना आपको ना तो इसको आप सही से रहेगा नहीं बनेगा ना वही ऐसे ऐसे बंडल ऑफ बुक्स आर यू टू सी दिस यस सर यू आर यस आई कूट सी यस दिस आई एम गोइंग टू टाइ हियर इट्स गोइंग टू हैंग ओके तो द फ्लिंसी थ्रेड आई थिंक इट्स विजिबल नाउ यस वेरी मच यस Yeah, it is hanging now. It's hanging now. Yeah. The point is, the string is very flimsy. Yeah. And it is supporting this heavy load. Heavy load, yes. Any moment, there is a chance that this string can get cut, and the load will fall down. Exactly, yes. So that is the situation. I think this is visible to everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, thing is, I am not visible. I am not uh, able to see this. Yes, we could see that. Yes, yes. If you are able to see that, that's fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, in this condition, yeah, there's a string attached to the bottom also. Okay. If I'm going to pull it down, yeah, what will happen? Anybody will guess immediately. Yeah. This string will get cut. Yeah. And it will fall down. It'll fall down. Yes. Right. Yeah. So this is our understanding. Yeah. Let me try this and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. In fact, if you carry out this experiment, okay, there is a knack in this. This is the first time it failed. But many times I have done this. Again, I'll do it. There is one more standby arrangement. Okay. <laughs>
Hello. 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 Ah, yes, ma. Ah, sir, To all the participants, the experiment is going on. The professor will join. There is some uh, disturbance in the line. As we all know, whenever you do experiment, it is trial and error. So this part is called error. We will try to get him back. Shanmugam sir, please unmute yourself. So are you able to see this now? Uh, I can sir. hear you sir, but you are not visible. The video on, but the process. Start video sir, sir. Start, start video. Video on, but the uh, now you have come up. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, sir. You are yes. able to see the beaker now? Yes, sir. It is totally uh, colored. Yes. Yeah. Almost uh, okay. half okay. of it. Yes, yes, sir. yes. See, I started with a colorless solution. Yeah. Okay. It was like water. Now I am passing current. The whole solution has become pinkish. And also you can see this yellow stain at the bottom. Mm. Okay. 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 Sorry for the technical error, and I think everybody can see this now. We started this experiment with a, a clear colorless solution. I think this is quite visible. My voice is audible. Yes, sir. My, my voice is audible, sir. Yes, sir. Very much, very much. Yes. So this is also visible. Yeah, it is visible. Yes. Okay. Okay then. Thank God. <laughs> because of the technical problem. Okay. So we started this experiment with a clear colorless solution. Yes. And when current is passed, the solution to color, suddenly this pink color is appearing and you can see at the bottom, the yellow is tinged also. Yes. The whole scenario has changed. So, for the persons who are studying in degree level or PG level, this is just nothing. They know the concept. But that is not the issue. But for a student in 9th standard or 10th standard, if this is shown, that is magic to him. In fact, the concept is nothing but electrolysis. Everybody knows that. The standard textbook experiment normally prescribed is take water and pass current through it. Since pure water is a poor conductor, they advise you to add few drops of some dilute acid and then allow the current, you will find bubbles coming up around the cathode and anode. The hydrogen bubbles are there around the cathode and the oxygen bubbles are there around. This is nothing, absolutely fine, nothing wrong in it. But the same concept electrolysis is done in a different way. 
here when when current is passed suddenly colors appear in the solution you can make you can you can create colors from colorless solution you can change color from one color to another color or you can even make the color to disappear also all these things are possible by carefully thinking about the concepts in chemistry so that is something which is required on the teacher side whatever that they have studied they have to apply the concepts so kuncha mana ketta por in fact that enhances their understanding also about the concept in electrochemistry so this is one which i wanted to show the other one is again i want to repeat this one more thing which i want to show in chemistry itself right now so this is quite often we come across an advertisement which is kare nallada stain okay va who will want the stain supposing let's see sir just guide me yes sir. yes sir yes sir this you can say i am applying it on my shirt yes yes it's brownish the white shirt has become yeah. karai karai nallathu karai nallada kittada theriyala they say an advertisement but this is an awkward situation i cannot go up like this everybody will stare at me what happened to this fellow what he is having this kind of dog <laughs> but i need not worry as a chemist i need not worry about this because i have a solution this is the magic remedy for this so take a dip a piece of cotton dip this cotton into this solution and apply this on the strain can you see sir is visible yes sir yes sir yes sir it's gone it is way pochi gone <laughs> not even a small stain in this totally in stain. yeah no stain so this is really a magic not to us but for a young ninth standard or 10th standard student that's yeah. the thing which you have to keep it in mind so once again i'm coming back to this physics just hold on two minutes yes sir on this that side yes sir okay to the entrance was a bit yeah Sir, is it is it sir? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Exactly. Again, it is hanging. Yeah. So I'm going to pull it down. Okay. It did not fall. It's a magic. Okay. So <laughs> everyone, to look at it. The moment they see this, a heavy load is being supported by a flimsy string. Okay. So any moment there's a chance of this being cut, and the load will fall down. That is the idea that people will have. Yeah. If you do this, but actually it's not falling. This is this definitely will appear to be something like a magic. Yeah. To the young mind. This way we have to create this, you know, curiosity in the minds. Curiosity. Now after this, they will even if you keep quiet, the students will not keep quiet. They will approach you. Now tell me how this is possible. 
now you take time even if it is 2 hours they are ready to listen to you the concept of inertia is very well portrayed in this small demonstration if you are to refer the physics books that typical standard experiments are there take a tumbler place a cardboard on it and place a coin oh, now it is possible <laughs> okay. so place a coin on it and flip this cardboard it flies off and the coin these are standard experiments nothing wrong in all those things all this textbook experiments absolutely fine but do it in a different way that is very very important do it in a different way that is very very important and the different approach should be something like a magic be something like fun which be something like a playway method something like a miracle so that will raise the curiosity of the minds of the students and afterwards first I, that's why I, so i told you science is second Reject it as magic or fun or play or miracle. That is the first component. Then, once this is successfully executed, he himself will not leave you. He wants no because So that feeling will be there. Yeah. And once the teacher, once the student likes the teacher, the psychology is whatever subject the teacher handles, that will be liked by the students. So that is the psychology. So the experiments, I think it's over. Is it visible, sir, now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This uh, PPT? PPT, uh, you are... I think I have to, I have yes. to present it. You have to continue, yes, yes. One minute. Sure. Share screen. Okay. Okay. Is this visible now? Not yet. Not it, sir. This is the last last slide. No, only you are visible. Share. I click will share. Here again, I have to share. Yeah, it is coming up now. Okay. So this up to this we have already seen. Okay. Yeah. So now this last slide is there. The experiments are over. Actually, I wanted to. By two, but I made extra one. Okay. This time also, suddenly. So before concluding my session, I would like to share with you the following few lines. And these few lines, I said in the beginning, why science should be communicated. I said there are two answers. One which we already saw. The second one I will be sharing at the end of the session. I told, and that is coming up now. A scientist explores nature. Not because it is beneficial to him, but he delights in it. Of course, these are not my words. The famous person's words. I will just tell you. He delights in it because it is beautiful. This way, a scientist's view and a poet's view align themselves. Same concept was revealed by famous English by John Keats. He said, I think of beauty is joy forever. The same idea the scientist also projects. A scientist explores nature not because it is beneficial to him, but he delights in it. He delights in it because it is beautiful. And if nature were not beautiful, it's not worth exploring. Again, he goes on to say, if nature were not worth exploring, life is not worth living. So these are the words of now the picture is going to appear. This person, can anybody guess this person? He is a famous French philosopher, come mathematician, come physicist, Henry Poincaré. I love his message. How much he would have understood the meaning of that. So, and finally. Thank you all for your patient listening. Despite the fact there were some technical problems in the midst of my lecture, still, I thank you very much for your patience listening. And thanks all once again for the organizers of this program, for the opportunity given to me, and thanks to all the viewers. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Professor, for your all your uh, uh, sincere efforts in uh, explaining the science concept and also the uh, importance of doing science and doing yeah. it 
experiencing science through scientific experiments. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I would like to invite Dr. Muthu Kumar. Uh, he is a program officer uh, in the Department of Environment for the Indies Hub. Um, and he would be explaining about the activities of Department of Environment um, with regard to science communication and science popularization. Share content for the whole screen. Dr. Muttukumar, sir? Yes, madam. Sorry, the presentation. Ah, share content for the full screen and share panel, sir. Okay, okay. Hello. My screen is set for PPT presentation. Hello. Sir, your screen Sir, is your not visible. Screen, screen is not coming up. You please share your screen. Share it as a whole screen, sir, not as a window. Share content could thing will show options. Now it has come up. Yes. 
ஓகே சார் ஓபன் பண்ணுங்க சார் டபுள் கிளிக் பண்ணி ஃபுல் ஸ்கிரீன் பண்ணுங்க இட்ஸ் வர்க்கிங் சார் இட்ஸ் வர்க்கிங் Sir, uh, Dr. Muthu Kumar, you are visible, your screen is visible. Please proceed, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening to all. I am Dr. K. Muthu Kumar, program officer, MSN department of the government of Kalim Nadu. Sir, what are the activities uh, done by the department of environment? a uh, state of environment and related issues in tamil nadu the report is collection and coordination and dissemination uh, of the information on state of environment of tamil nadu creation of web based database in related to state of environment state of tamil nadu the collection of isped data and uploading the uh, isped web portal publication of subject specific news letters and the report the state of environment report so every two years old environment lava creating environment awareness program uh, for various schools and colleges uh, and also conducting the online awareness program through e learning letter to school students conducting certificate courses under the green skill development program a uh, national environment survey we are also conducting grid test supporting system we are collecting the data from the various source from tamil nadu and also analysis the data uh, to develop the grid test map based on gis then collection of environment related news clippings and uh, spread over to uh, all line department for action oriented the structure of my presentation publication conducting green skill development program uh, preparation of indian uh, state level basic environment information database threat based mapping and creating awareness through the ncc schools and colleges and also in our website so what are the uh, uh, publications uh, done by the department of environment uh, published to four newsletters in every year related to environment in quarterly issues and also published in posts related to the green days uh, theme and also published to brochure uh, related to some activities done by the department of environment and also uh, some uh, awareness programs uh, preparation of information booklet for example coastal biodiversity uh, and also other uh, information booklets is prepared and sent uh, sent to all schools government library uh, government officials and ministry of environment for the officials all those things as well uh, preparation of report state of environment report there uh, every two years once we are preparing the state of environment and published uh, published and uh, distributed to all the line departments say uh, uh, government officials and uh, college university libraries and also preparing database a numerical test and non numerical test for example water pollution status in tamil nadu air pollution status in tamil nadu so every and the statistic analysis and prepare the database and also upload in my website also this is the sample applications this is the first one set up in our nothing doubt doctor yes, sir uh, your slide is not moving sir please move your slide Okay, okay, sir. In the opening page only. So now is moving, sir. Not yet. Okay, okay, sir. I will check it. So, I'll get up on one. Okay. Move on. Sorry, it is. Easter, Easter, Easter. So now we see, sir. Uh, still in the first page, uh, doctor. Uh, can you 
move the slide okay. to the current page. Safe. Can you see, sir? No, it's only in the first page. Gomati. Gomati, uh, can you help uh, Dr. Mutukma? Stop sharing for the share for Nicola, sir. Yes, ma'am. Stop sharing for the share for the Ah, uh, uh, now it is moving. Share for me. Share for me, sir. Dr. Muthukumar. Yes. Dr. Muthukumar, now you are visible, you can proceed. Dr. Muthukumar, unmute yourself and then proceed. Dr. Muthukumar, you can proceed. Okay, okay, sir. Sure, sir. sir this is uh, one of the cases. The first one is state of enormous uh, liquid. After that, the approach is the question biodiversity. Sir. Yes, please. This is a uh, newsletter, sir. Below one is a newsletter published and the sent it to all. In schools and colleges, library, and, and also government offices. Uh, this is also approaches, uh, some uh, related to green days, uh, some environmental day, uh, world wetland day, forest day, biodiversity day. So these are some green days. We are preparing the approaches, short note on. Uh, what are the importance of green days? Uh, I think uh, so. What is the importance for the world wetland day? So this also prepared the brochure and sent it to government schools and also private schools through uh, offline and also online, sir. This is uh, communicated to every school, sir. Government schools and also. Next, we are conducting the green skill development program. So this is a sponsored by the Department, uh, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Gom, uh, Government of India. The course every year we will conduct two courses sir, for uh, for the unemployment students uh, related to environment related. So for example, now this year going on uh, para taxonomy, uh, para taxonomy. Another one is also wildlife management and using the CO geospatial techniques. This is the important course uh, conducting the collaboration with any government uh, colleges or universities. This is a 
my major work is so it is it is useful to uh, resolve in the environment and also uh, control the pollution level reduce the waste management this is also important and also creating employment opportunity for the uh, drop out students this is very important for the conducting the green school development programs as well this is a sample we are providing certificate under the ministry of environment forest certificate received by the uh, beneficiary candidates as well next we are uh, collecting the numerical data from the all over tamil nadu so air pollution water pollution agriculture uh, forest and biodiversity uh, this record 17 modules we are collecting the information related to st statistical data and uploaded in the uh, ISPED web portal. ISPED means Indian State Level Basic Environmental Information Database. This is useful for the research scholars and the policy maker for use to this statistical data for analysis purpose. Analysis purpose. This is here. We have completed the following year by status. Here's we are completed in uh, currently we are completed energy database and natural resources air pollution and water pollution also completed for uh, circulating the uh, research department sir this is the sample data for example pod air pollution so so2 uh, no2 uh, this is aspects we are co collecting the data and uploaded in the uh, ISPD web portal and also given the source from which department collected the information. I put it in the website also. Sir. Uh, this is also one more information. We are collecting the data on different district level also. Even uh, after that, the data is analysis and creating map for uh, for future reference. We are collecting the different district. Now we are completed for five districts: Thiruvallur, Chennai. Karur, uh, and Salem itself, sir. This is one more information for uh, using the analysis purpose for research scholars and also policy, policy makers, sir. This is a sample map. We are collecting and also put it in, the, in my website also. It is useful for students. This is also a sample uh, map for this preparing there. Next, there are 8,000 uh, NCC and Eco Club uh, uh, schools are uh, uh, connected with the Department of Environment and also conducting the awareness program through these school students for uh, offline and also online. So, creating awareness for online, we are collecting, uh, we are uh, selected the expert from the different field and also uh, on, connect the online in every green days to uh, distribute uh, spread the awareness in each green days for example what is the importance of awareness program uh, through environmental day world wetland day so this is also important to others uh, for the students and also conducting uh, environmental awareness rally uh, for example vermicompost what are, how to uh, prepare the vermicompost method and conducting environmental expo awareness programs and conducting competition program also related to environment and the plastic campaign cultural program is also conducted through the uh, eco club students and also ncc students in various districts uh, in whole years so from april to up to march this is our, this is also conducting the online programs our uh, our additional chief secretary has uh, 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 inaugurated the program for uh, World, uh, world ozone days. This is a sample. We are conducting the programs. This is also uh, expert scientists of so coastal environment conducting along with the ministry also conducting the, this awareness program through school student and also in national level uh, seminar also conducted. So. This is a sample uh, shots for we are conducting online through offline and distributed the uh, cloth bag for the school student against plastic care and also cre created one uh, environmental destination center in each educational district and, and creating uh, creating awareness through centers through e-learning awareness program our department institute. 
this is uh, available data for our website uh, from uh, we are started in 2022 up to 2021 we have uh, published the data this is a graph, a graph for the what are the uh, area will be concentrated this is the publication section and awareness section sir this is our uh, our uh, website sir for a, the website is controlled by the uh, ministry of environment and forest we are concentrating the following aspects sir the subject data based in something modules and food calories what are the news things are uh, published and also in, included in this website it is useful for the all over the world so see this is a sample uh, copies how how many people are seeing this website uh, what are the uh, area uh, uh, seen in this uh, website sir uh, you know in the awareness program how many students are part, uh, seen this is uh, also related to my uh, website related information sir and circulated to all over so this is the main important things this is also communication to science in department of environment done by the department of environment thank you sir thank you dr murthy kumar for uh, uh, elaborating on the publications and other activities of department of environment thank you very sir. much um i would like to propose thank what of thanks on behalf of uh, tamil nadu state council for science and technology uh, first of all, we would like to thank uh, Dr. R. Kanchana, IFS, Deputy Director, Office of Farming Ranna Zoological Park, Wonderloo, Chennai, for the presentation on activities of Aring Ranna Zoological Park uh, for science, communication, and popularization. We would like to also thank Dr. S. Saundaraj Parmal, Executive Director in Charge, Tamil Nadu Science and Technology Center, Chennai, for his presentation on the facilities and the activities conducted by Science Center in the field of science communication, not only in Chennai but also in other centers throughout Tamil Nadu. And we would like to thank Dr. S. Tanalakshmi, Curator, Geology Section, Government Museum, Egmore, for her presentation on various facilities available and the uh, exhibits available in Government Museum for different subjects and uh, for the different activities conducted by uh, uh, the Government Museum for science communication and popularization. Uh, we would like to thank Dr. Sivaraman for beautifully explaining the subject of mathematics and the science popularization. Uh, he is from uh, Department of Mathematics, DG Vaishnav College, Arumbakam. We thank you very much for your uh, time and uh, then valuable efforts, sir. We would like to thank especially for Dr. Sanmukham, uh, former guest faculty, Department of Chemistry, College of Engineering, Anna University, Gindi, and then uh, for his uh, presentation on science popularization and uh, demonstrating various experiments in physics and chemistry. Uh, we could see the effort and then enthusiasm in which, with which you are performing your duty, sir. You are an uh, uh, inspiration for all of us. And I am sure all the students and other uh, research scholars are motivated uh, uh, listening to you and uh, uh, looking at your uh, the experiments and the uh, you know, demonstration you have made. We would like to thank Dr. Muthu Kumar, Program Officer, Department of uh, Environment uh, uh, for this uh, presentation on the activities of Department of Environment for Science Popularization. We would like to thank especially for uh, uh, the support and the leadership provided by Dr. Devapriya Datta, Advisor, Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Rashmi Sharma, Scientist Chef, Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Ravikant Prachabadi, Scientist from Department of Science and Technology for uh, their continuous support and leadership. And we would like to mention a special thanks to all of our uh, people, particularly our member secretary and all the staff of Tamil Nadu State Council for Science and Technology for making this program a grand success. Thank you one and all. We will uh, meet for uh, the next program, which is uh, a very interesting uh, program uh, next month. It is on the topic of women in science and science for women. It's a very important program and uh, we will meet at that time. And for the participants, uh, please fill up the feedback form, uh, which will be coming up, uh, so that you will receive your certificates. Thank you, one and all. With this, we will be closing. Thank you.
గోమతి ఓకే ఓకే ప్లీజ్ ప్లీజ్ ప్లీజ్